no all no good shit. You feel me? All the time. I'm, re- I'm recording this by the way now. We wasn't all the stuff we just did. Yeah. I should have been recorded the whole time, but I'm gonna start recording. Hell yeah, you feel me? Yeah, 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 man. That's exactly what it was, man. Hey, man, you want peace? If you want peace in the house, man, you you supposed to. Man, that's what I'm saying. I'm getting to a point now where because I had a father, right, which I who I love, who 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 really disciplined us and taught us skills, bro. That having a dad is a is a a a, a, a physical uh, representation of God's relationship with us in the spirit. So, oh, you got your phone on mute. You put it on mute. Oh, there you go. My bad. Hold on. No, no, that's good. Okay, yeah, some, some somebody was calling. I have to. Uh, oh yeah. No, that one. So just like we have an earthly father, we have an earthly father so that we can know the way our heavenly father deals with us, because he deals with us the same way, even on a deeper mm-hmm. level, though, on a higher plane. Yep. But the physical father represents discipline, order, uh, uh, chastisement, um, development of your skills and your talents, nurturing. All that stuff is the same thing that Yah does in the heavens. So I feel bad. That's why he was like, true Christianity or true, I shouldn't say Christianity because we know that that's wicked. But I should say true religion or true uh, um, obedience to God is to take care of the fatherless children. He's serious about the children, the fatherless children, right? Mm -hmm. He kept saying that over and over again in the Bible because he understands that these people who didn't have fathers are going to have a harder time understanding him. So he's like, if you a strong man and you see a fatherless child, you need to show him how a father loves so that that child can learn how y'all loves. Yeah, y'all gonna whoop your ass. Yes, y'all is gonna feed you everything every day with fruits and vegetables from the earth, healthy stuff. Y'all is going to uh, provide you water so you can wash your behind. You see what I'm saying? All mm-hmm. the things that you need, air to breathe, joy in your heart, peace, all that stuff comes from him. Yeah. You know I mean, so... Um, like I said, I had a father who did all those things and he's still alive. Hallelujah. Um, but, uh, um, you know, so it's just seeing things from in the spiritual because the physical world is a, is a representation of the spiritual, you know what I mean? On a lower plane, we're on a lower plane. Mm -hmm. This is like a form of hell. This is like an underworld because the real, the real world is in the kingdom. We're on earth. In like an underworld surrounded by evil men and pain and weeping and gnashing of teeth well, and all that type of stuff. Well, well, guys, I'm well, man. I don't, man. Well, I'm, 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 I don't know about that part of the game. I don't know about that part of the game. You feel me, man? Get this right here, man. I, I see only the better, better things in, 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 in this, in the situation we're in. So I don't sure. even hear it, all that gnashing at the teeth and rah, 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 nah, nah, mad ass niggas and shit. Man, guess what? Them niggas ignored. Niggas exactly. and blocked. <laughs> niggas and blocked blot them out. He is close. You see what I'm saying, Tyson? Hey. Mm-hmm. I see what you mean. Definitely, bro. Definitely. No, right now, you feel me? And that is, mm-hmm. okay, well, good. And what else could be going on, man? And it's crazy. And that, 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 that those days must be coming closer and closer, man. Because I'm watching the way the white folks acting. I'm, mm-hmm. watching, I'm watching the way these folks is acting. I'm like, wait, wait, hold right. on, bro. Right. Like, Man, like man, it's like they feel like a, a it's a change of power. Like mm-hmm. you feel me? Like yeah. like all y'all lives for so many years, man. Hey, man, the, the truth is finally the, came out, and man, now people is understanding and listening, and man, mm-hmm. most like, definitely. Man, that's they, that's they, what they, I'm they, saying. That's they, why they it's an have, exciting. They, they, don't, they don't have that. They don't have that hold on humanity no more. You feel me? Right. It's an exciting time, bro, because. We see the negative prophecies coming to fruition, for sure. We see that. The mm-hmm. wars, the rumors of wars, the pestilence and diseases, uh, the earthquakes in various places. We see all this stuff. Killing of, of Hebrew Israelites by the police, the time of Jacob's trouble, this tribulation. We see all of that, clearly. clearly. But at the same time, those of us who know the prophecies of, on the positive side can see that, too. Yes, the flip, the script is flipping. These white folks, they can't hold a candle to us in nothing. Nothing. They're not racing. They're not running faster than us. Come on. They're not singing better than us. They're not dancing better than us. They're not cooking better than us. They're not teaching, preaching better than us. Nothing. Only thing they do better than us, and they're not even really doing evil better than us. 
we we are the best pimps and the best gangsters, the best murderers and the best killers. Come on, man, they're not even doing that better than us. But they just got this technology thing. They got this weird technology thing, man, that they can manipulate and, and, and deceive minds. And that's coming straight from the devil. So we have to use the devil's tool there against them. Exactly. What Yah means, for, I mean, what the devil means for evil, Yah going to flip it for our good. That's my point. Everything's yeah. flipping now. So although Negroes is in the hoods and we are the, the most oppressed people in the culture, the more you oppress Israelites, the more powerful we get. And, and God prophesied that, yeah, we was going to be the tail for a while, 400 years, which is over, right? We was going to be the tail. And then he said, when you turn from your oh, wickedness, way over. yeah, when way you turn over. from your wickedness and you come back to me, I'm going to heal your land and I'm going to make you the head again. That's what's, that's what's happening right now. Black men and black women are starting to become princes and kings send for me, real. Send, send, me, send me straight back home. Send me straight back home where I was the king of my family now. You exactly. Me, man, man, you the first, are first, you the first born in your family? Me too. And I was the first one. And I was the first one that got thrown out though. Too, you see me, man. I was like <laughs> me too. <laughs> exiled. I was exiled. Yeah. And shit, you feel me, bro? You yeah. feel me because of my ways and shit. You feel me? So it was like, hey, it's... man. I had to. I had to go out there. And then, okay, if you want to do it like that, then go out there and do it like that. And then come back and keep... okay, then. Exactly. Here we go. Here we go, man. It's just like just like the just like the story three hundred. You feel me? Just man, imagine them colored. Yeah. 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 yeah exactly. Just That's imagine. Perfect way to put it. Oh, yeah. And we coming together now, like on some real brotherly love stuff where ain't nobody bickering and fighting and jealous and trying to get with this nigga girl and this nigga over here hating oh, on his oh, shoes God. and this nigga over here trying to, you know what I'm saying? All oh, that stuff is over. Give me some uh, salt and pepper. It's mm-hmm. interesting to me because mm-hmm. I remember I remember when I was younger and I had this um this like jealousy thing, not jealousy, but like envious in a weird way of like even though I wasn't, because I always was super talented myself as far as football mm-hmm. goes and just I looked handsome and I was fast and strong and all this stuff. But now I'm starting to understand how to respect it in my, uh, my brothers even more. Like when I meet somebody that got wisdom, I'm like, nigga, preach that, preach that, talk that, teach that. Right? When I meet yeah. somebody that's, that, that, that's hella strong, I'm like, bro, nigga, I need you on my team. I need you to help me because mm-hmm. I can't do this by myself. You know what I'm saying? When I see brothers that that you know that that got stuff, bro, I'm encouraged by that, and I want to help them. See, before I remember, the devil would try to get me to be envious of my brothers. Mm-hmm. Oh no, nah, man, that nigga gonna try to steal your girlfriend if he come around. Don't let that nigga come around. He too fly. You know what I'm saying? He starts singing, or if he start doing whatever he do that he good at, your girl gonna be looking at him. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Which is true, because women mm-hmm. are evil. I mean, there's some good ones out there, but a lot of them are, are, are in our generation, they mostly ratchet and classy. Like, how do you be ratchet and classy? That don't, you know what I'm saying? Meg Thee Stallion and Beyonce, they, they tricking the women into, and from, and now they're not being queens no more. So yeah, we and, can't and, trust and the Cardi women B's, like that. And Cardi B's. And the Cardi B's, because they, they're more leaning towards the devil. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just like Eve in the garden. The devil didn't go to Adam because he already knew Adam too know. strong. He know what y'all said. He ain't finna. He loves y'all man, more than he loves man, Eve. Man, man, he would. Man, they would. Man, they would, they would, one serpent would have came out, nigga, with two parts. Yeah. One serpent, two parts, nigga. You feel me? Fuck with the man. That's what it would have been. <laughs> <laughs> one serpent, two parts. What? <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. That's what. Uh, uh, man, you had to have come. At, you had to have <laughs> came at that because that would. would that's what would have happened. Straight up, man, he would have sliced that thing the, down. Yeah, man, he would have flipped bare hands. Bare hands. Man, come on, rip him, nigga, in half. Straight up, bro. So he had to go to Eve, who he could talk to, and she was and she was deceived. So we have to even know that um, mm-hmm. that could happen. But at the end of the day, man, I, I, King Solomon said, man, I looked over the land. I surveyed a thousand soldiers, a thousand men. He said, out of all these 1,000 men, I found one that I could trust. Out of all these 1,000 men. And then, oh. 
is to have classes so for a little bit they end at 12.30 for almost all. No, Peppy, so I'll try. Okay, a little bit. But yeah, so he said he's found a thousand yeah. men, right? That he could trust. Mm -hmm. But he looked over a thousand women. He didn't. He didn't see not one woman that he could trust. Like he could trust his brothers. So I'm like, bro. I'm I'm leaning more towards my brothers now, more than ever. I don't care nothing about no woman, bro. Like that, nigga. No homo. I love women. Trust me. I, I want a, a yeah, yeah. woman that but, I can really man, do something but, with. But but. They gotta get it together. Yes, they gotta brother. get it together. My brother, you ain't never lying, God. And until then, bro, I'm not really, I'm not even, I don't care. The Apostle Paul had a gift, right? Where he didn't have to have no wife. And he said, man, I wish all y'all could be like me. Cause it ain't no marriage in heaven. <laughs> ain't nobody up there married to no woman, nigga, in heaven, nigga. That's crazy. So we over here stressing, stressing, stressing on these women. That, that's a, that was a lockdown just to not make it show up, nigga. Our family didn't grow in your monkey asses. You feel me, man? That was just a, that's just this, that's what that is. You feel me, man? And man, we was out there, man. You know how we were supposed to be. We were supposed mm -hmm. to be numbered, numbered, numbered. That's, that's hey, deep. numbered, man. And that, that, that what they did, man. They just. With this Western civilization thinking mm -hmm. way of thinking, you feel me? Just right, like, right? Just they stopped. They 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 stopped us multiplying. Mm -hmm. For they sure, were, that's uh, what this abortion. Were, that's what the abortion yeah. agenda is about. Yeah, that's what this. That's what this vaccine is about, bro. That's yep. what this whole vaccine is because I mean, look what they already said. It's, it's up there. It's attacking their uh, reproductive system. You feel me? Come on, dude. They've been doing that with the depo shot too. Back in the yeah, day, and then, oh. and, then, and then ball policy, policy, you feel me? And then and then ball policy, but I'm like, what the hell? And I'm like, man, they showed the thing on all on Facebook, man. It was all on right after the thing, a couple of days after, you feel me, man? The, the mm -hmm. person faces felt. Oh yeah, felt I the see that. Card. Yeah, I saw I said, that. What the, I was like, man, come on, man. Yeah. I mean, now you gonna scare now everybody now nobody gonna take the vaccine. You no smart know? people. Only dumbasses is gonna go get that that vaccine, bro. Ain't no yeah, smart yeah, person, yeah. a thinking man. Gonna go get that vaccine. Only the people yeah. that are afraid. Only, only the people that are afraid. Only the people that are, you feel me, going to go get tested to see if they got coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Only those people right there are going yeah. to go get it. Yeah, exactly. You feel me? You feel me? Yeah, yeah. And, and, and then the so-called, so the so-called, so I believe in the Bible and I believe in the faith and woo 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 But as soon as you hear about a daily answer, oh my God, right. it's over. I'm gonna be inside. I'm gonna come back up. Everybody, please stay safe. Everybody, just wear your mask. Looking ass <laughs> niggas, man. Get the fuck out of my face, man. Exactly, bro. These people are crazy, face, man. man. They yeah, lose like, their minds. I said, nigga, it's been a whole year. You ain't seen one person die, nigga, off a of coronavirus, nigga, and you just. Come on, bro. I said, bro, what the hell? I was like, man, come on, man. I'm like, man, you okay? You gonna sit there and put? Like, okay, I don't give a damn if that person did come up over here and say, "Oh, if I had a family member that died of Corona," I don't give a damn if that person did say that. Nigga, you mm -hmm. lying bastard. Exactly. I'm gonna tell you what it is. I'm gonna First tell you of all, I, I agree with you 100 percent because I don't know no one. Right? You got paid to say it. <laughs> <laughs> you got paid to say it, or you got tricked to believe it, or the hospitals lied to you and told you that he died from Corona, and you just believe it because you're not a doctor. But the truth of the matter is. If you've been there with them all day, all day and all night, how come you ain't got it? Right. And if you do get it, you're not going to die from it. That's what I'm trying to say. When I was locked up in Fresno County Jail, the, the CO officer came in there because, first of all, we don't have social distancing in jail. You on top of each other, every nigga in the pod. All they could, bro, do, was, all they could do is spread us out in bro. the pod. But, bro, bro. Have you, have you, I know you've been watching football ever since you've been left uh, being a pendant, where's the social distance in that there? Come on, bro. We on the football field running with each other, tackling each yeah. other, getting up, helping each other off the ground. Sweating all Sweating. over everybody. Okay. But then that's I think okay. I'm going to let football go. Oh, oh. It's too much so money. Now, so, 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 now, so, so, now, so now, this has just became political. This yeah. whole virus just became political. I will sue everybody for, I will sue everybody in office, man, for committing treason. Mm-hmm. For sure. 
They and they indicted. Believe me, they are indicted, brother. Oh yeah, they are indicted. Like Jim Carrey said, indicted, 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 indicted. I'm being indicted. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. So, but with the hospitals, with the Corona thing, right? Like I said in the pod, the CEO came in there and he said, "Look, I said, so how's everything on the outs, man? I know everything's going crazy since Corona, right?" He said, oh, "Man, yeah, things people are going crazy." I said, "But." On the TV, on the news, they keep saying people are dying and the numbers are just going up. He said, this is the thing. He said, the hospitals are being paid by the government to, uh, based on the corona cases that they process. So this is the thing, check it out. A person can have coronavirus, be, but be on a motorcycle riding down the freeway, getting a wreck, pow! His brain splatter on the freeway. And because he had coronavirus, they say he died. You're recording this, right? Huh? You're recording this, right? Yeah, I'm recording this, bro. Okay, I want, I want you to come back. We're going to come back and you're going to view this one. Okay, you're going to view this one. <laughs> All right. You, 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 no, 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 no. I'm talking about, baby, you're going to oh, view this about, one. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's oh, your yeah, son? You're gonna no, no, that's my girl. Oh, yeah, yeah. She got to teach, She got to get this information from, from her husband yeah, and, maybe, from her, this, and from her brother-in-law. Yeah, because. man, because this right here, this is, this, is, this is deep right here. You feel me? The dude came into the jail told you, you feel me, he, he he gave you the whole rundown, you feel me, he gave you basically the whole rundown about this, you feel me, the hospitals are getting paid to say this, you feel me, hospitals are getting, that's why they closed down everything, that's why you can't see if they're overran. Exactly. Okay, so, yeah, so therefore, this is what you do, if they say, uh, they say, oh my God, they, they have 5,000 cases, uh, confirmed cases, or 500, 5,000 deaths, then all you do my fellow people, is you go to the cemetery and you wait there and you wait to see 5,000 fucking cemetery, cemetery uh, uh, hearse yeah, come through that motherfucker. Exactly, you feel exactly. Me? Straight up. Everyone, this is being a free thinker. This, I'm, I'm, a, I'm like, what you saying? All these people dying? Man, I'm going to go to the cemetery to see. When you go out they're there, not, you won't see shit. They're not dying from that. They, and they're not dying from corona. So They're not dying from corona. If, if you, not, if you, if you get in a motorcycle accident and you bust your brains on the freeway, bro, you die from a motorcycle accident. But because you have coronavirus, they mark it as a COVID death. And they doing that with everything. So a person can die. That's, that's why they say if you have other diseases, it can complicate your coronavirus thing, blah, 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 blah. So you can die from cancer. But because you have COVID, they're going to say you died from COVID. So I, get that I didn't even think of that, bro. I didn't even think of that, bro. You're a fucking genius, bro. <laughs> this is what the CO told me. The CO told me this in the jail cell. He literally said, man, that's what their hospitals are doing so they can get this I government would funding. I sue Gavin Newsom. I would sue the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi. Man, get this right here. Man, I was, I mean, all these motherfuckers, Bill Gates, thrown in oh, jail. Yeah. Guantanamo oh, Bay. Nigga, get, oh, the yeah. fuck, get in there. On, get in there. Get yeah. your ass in there. He probably owned Guantanamo Bay. He gonna walk in there. They're gonna be like, Mr. Gates, can we help you? <laughs> Nah, man, nah, man. Nah, that was that was around before he was even they're going born. To hell. They they next stop is not gonna be um they they going straight to the lake of fire, Doc. They not they 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 is not gonna make it, man. They got this little time left, this little 70 years, 75 years of life, 80 years of life. One of them Rockefellers, he keep getting new hearts every year. He keep getting he got like seven heart transplants or something like this so to stay alive because he's so afraid to die. And he know when he cross over there, it ain't nothing. But torment forever. So he trying to just keep re <laughs> getting new hearts. You get new hearts like tires, nigga. <laughs> Black strong hearts. They so scared. Oh, they, and they Hebrew hearts too. Yeah. They're harvesting our they're harvesting our organs. I know. That's why they that's why they have you been put on your shit if you want to be a donor and shit. Yeah. Oh, they asked me that when I left out the prison. They had to give me another um another ID and uh they asked me, do you want to be a donor? I said, hell no. I want to be no damn donor. Donor to who? To who? For what? Just some random person just come get my body parts? No, if I'm a donor, anything is going to my family specifically. And that can be written down in a will or something. That ain't got to be known by the government. Yeah, man. Government want a part of every, man. They, they, man. Get, they want it all. Hey, but just like how you said, though, hey, mm -hmm. their time is up. It's up. Don't nobody do look it. And then oh. and, and then and then we have to understand this. Look at Valamore Putin, he on their asses. Mm -hmm. 
He's on Jacob Rockefeller. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Rothschild. Jacob Rothschild. He's on him. He's on yeah. his bumper. He's like, if I catch you around Mother Russia, man, guess what? It's going to be war. He told him. Valimore, just like how Valimore Putin told, uh, he told, uh, he told Barack, man, what's up, man? Hey, man, fuck all what you're talking about, man. We can get in the ring and handle this shit. Like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, bro. Oh, you wasn't, you, go, you wasn't, yeah, you wasn't hey, black that day, were you? You wasn't Putin black that day, were you? Vladimir Putin is an assassin. Ain't nobody yeah, messing man. with Vladimir Putin, man? What? Man, what? Hey, man, that's, shit, he ain't, and he ain't racist either. And he ain't racist. Man, I am not. I'm. I'm, I'm not messing with. I, uh, man. He. 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 He's not a president like that. That nigga's a. a, a, a he's a. He's a cold gangster. So, but anyway, no, nah, man. I'm just like. Yeah, we see. We see all the negative going down, but we see the positive too. I ain't never seen so many people waking up, calling themselves Israelites and naming their kids after the name of Israel, which is a prophecy in Isaiah chapter 44. You know what I'm saying? I ain't seen so many people like getting famous on righteous stuff, you know. And everybody looking at these dumb niggas who still talking about killing each other in the hood and and all these bits, these bras that still twerking and, and and jerking all that. Okay, man, okay, I, nobody want to be I, like I, I, that. I, 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 I know. I know. I was like, man, the industry. I was like, man, if y'all, 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 y'all need. To, well, first of all, youngsters, y'all need to wake up. First of all, y'all don't right. see everything is changing. Don't nobody believe they don't nobody believe entertainment no more. So man, you gotta be speaking the you have to be speaking the truth True. for anybody to listen to you. Exactly, Doc. The, the entertainment, you can't just say whatever and think it's just gonna fly now. You feel no. me? No, nigga, man, guess what? You gonna get you gonna get checked for what you say. Exactly. And that, that started happening a couple years back when um Nick Rose was rapping about being in the gangsters and being in the hood, but not having no credit in the hood. And everybody was no like, credit. man, this yeah. thing ain't living what he rapping about. Why is he rapping? What? And then the niggas that was actually from their hoods was like, man, we ain't never seen you come down the block. And you talking about you from here, you did this and you did that. So that been happening since 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 mass producing these these artists started happening like in the early 90s. Man. You know what I'm saying? So now we're starting to see this thing because y'all is in the midst of us now. The Bible keeps saying over and over again, that you're gonna know that Yah is in the midst of you. He's in your midst. And today is the Feast of Hanukkah. We're still celebrating Hanukkah, which lets us remind reminds us to be dedicated to Yah as our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. He dwells within us. And now we know it. When I was hearing voices and stuff, man, the only voice I was really trying to hear was Yah's. Mm -hmm. oh, I was all kinds of stuff in my mind. But all I really wanted to hear was Yah tell me, son, I got you. Keep following me. Keep listening to me. Don't get out of line because I will chastise you and I will kill you if need be. Preach the truth and walk humbly. Love mercy. And do justice uh -huh. to everybody. Don't be stealing from your brother. Support your brother. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? Don't be looking at this woman all up and down. That's his woman. Don't covet your hey, neighbor's yeah. wife. You see what I'm saying? I, 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 came over here. I came over here, man. I thought I was look, man. One thing, don't be polluting your people either, man. Get this right here, man. Exactly. I, I, I went I, I was up there thinking about man, I need to do this move right here, you feel me? And come up real fast and shit, you feel me? And when I do this right here, I'll be able to do it again. And then you feel me? Yeah. On, on the second round, guess what? I got hit. Mm. I got hit. Like I got hit like this. Like, man, I gave him the money, and mm. then he was supposed to come back with the stuff. He didn't come back with the stuff. Like 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 5k type shit you feel me yeah, you feel me this is what we want to you down you feel me so i'm like what the fuck you feel me so man therefore man guess what lesson learned mm -hmm. yeah lesson learned lesson you learned. can't trust every nigga too yeah she would say beware no, no, of me no no, 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 hey, no no man but it, it wasn't even my boy's fault it was, it was the it was the other dude's fault because man the dude he just gave him a box with jeans in it bro Oh, oh, he played. Yeah, played him you like take that. Hit, you so you gonna take a hit every now and then. You gotta yeah, just... yeah, you feel me? Yeah, so therefore, man, I was like, man, you know what I was about to do with that? You know, I already know what I was about to do with that. And guess what? When I already got something already, man, that's going cool, man. I was trying to change it up and I you feel me? So yeah. I got chest ties. I got chest ties. Oh, I got, yeah. I got, I got, I got, Smack City, you feel me? Smack oh, yeah. City. Man, you had to pop on that, that on that tip. Yeah, yeah, but 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 ever since I've been just keeping okay. like this, and then you feel me, man, everything been going cool. You feel me? No kind of no kind of issues. Smooth. No oh, kind of yeah, bro. And you've been doing this thing. You ain't this ain't your first hit you done took. You a veteran, man. Come on, Doc. 
Oh yeah, man, taking man many hits, man. I'm the I'm the man. Like yes, man. Yeah, taking yeah. hits, man. I've been yeah. taking hits, man. <laughs> Major hits, man, since like 2017, man. But coming yeah, back, man. man, keep on coming strong, man. I'm loving it. Time. Yeah, bro. Got I'm you, inspired man. by you, my man. I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> I ain't never really had nobody like you in my life before to where I can actually. I, man, I respect you so much, dude. It's, it's ridiculous, bro. From the, your your Thank come you, up to your wisdom, the way you study. All of that, bro, it's, it's huge to me. And you know my family. It's funny when you was rapping my, <laughs> my Uncle Marcus's music in jail. Nigga, that shit had me oh, yeah. <laughs> So it's like, yeah, man, yeah. I know y'all does things supernaturally. He'll bring people together for the mission. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? We marching in rank side by side. You know, yep. casket dropping even beyond that. So it's even cool to, that, have you, to have somebody like you to do this talk like this with. Because nobody else is seeing it. It's like people is literally blind. They, they, no, hey, they're blinded with their their everyday thing, their everyday shit going on. And see, you feel me? And some, mm -hmm. it's not even their fault. You see, you feel me? It's the situation that they were placed in. You feel me? Man, guess yeah. what? Whether whether it was, oh man, I gotta make sure I hurry get to work, man, because guess what? I gotta feed these kids. Whether it's I gotta go to anything, it's anything, bro. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, there's yeah. Distraction. And that's that's a true real, real distraction. You feel me? And yeah. it's like. Mm -hmm. Once you let everything go, man, and we go to going to places that we've been, oh, going man. to places that we've been right there, you feel me, man? Guess mm -hmm. what? That gives us a little time to sit and think and shit, you feel me? Man, oh, and yeah. actually you start planning out, man, our our next moves and shit, you feel me? Instead of just jumping in here, yeah, jumping in here first. Yeah. You feel me? Like man, even 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 like man, how you were saying, man, I'm watching, man, all these people, man, off the podcast, man. Do you know, man, once you start getting a certain amount, man, they were like, hey man. You're being, you're being, you feel me, viewed, and uh, so, man, here. Yeah, they're going to start monitoring you. Oh, they're paying you. you. They're paying you. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? So, man, before, man, man, once you start getting, man, but, again, it depends on how real your conversation is, though. Once you, True. Well, how, how, how deep that conversation is, you feel me? Once mm -hmm. you get, once you hit those ones, and then make, make, make them feel you. You have to make the audience feel you, you feel me? Once they yeah. feel you, man, all of a sudden, now they start sharing you. Once they start sharing you, sharing you, and then all of a sudden, people hear that, then they're like, man, what the hell? Let me follow this dude real quick, man. And then they start to share you, and then that's where you, Hey, that's, man. How, that's how it works, man. That's that's how the spirit moves. See, we moving in the spiritual realm now. We're not moving yeah. in the physical realm. My yeah. nigga, look, I'm not with you right now. I'm not physically in your house, but my spirit is vibrating through this demon ass technology called the laptop into your in, into your ears directly, nigga. That's teleportation. Yeah. We we traveling over time. We traveling over Bluetooth and, and wireless connections. Yeah. Spirit. So like, bro, we are in a whole different freaking level now. And the only and, and the demons they they mad because they don't want to use like this. They trying to keep they trying to flutter as much confusion, as much distraction, as many commercials as they can, as many interruptions as to get people off the focus, the line, the streamline, this narrow path that we own. You see what I'm saying? But uh, not, that, and they're uh, using this more. technology like the social medias and and and, the, and all this to do it. But bro. If they can't they can't stop you out. The gates of hell cannot prevail, my nigga, against the princes of Judah. Come on, man. They can't prevail against Israel. They can't prevail against God's sons and daughters. So we gonna keep keep it funky, keep it honest, keep it genuine, like you were saying. Keep the content deep and rich and real and interesting and true, factual, right? Uh huh. Come on, man. Actual microphones up in there. I want to put some actual microphones up in there to make it look like you feel me with the with the with the background and everything. You feel me? To act like it, man, we were an actual radio show. You feel me, bro? We got it. My brother, my brother has all the freaking stuff, bro. Y'all dumped everything that we need on, onto everybody around us. I got. I can go into a, a, a state of the art studio. I can go to a state of the art studio right now. We will be censored fast, bro. I'm not tripping on that. See, I'm about to hook up with Yaki, right? My brother that they just showed. I'm about to hook up with him. I'm yeah. about to get his personal line, all of that stuff, right? I pray y'all move before me and make it happen because uh, um, um, it's it's going to be a thing to where, uh, dang, I just lost my thought that fast. That's crazy. But Yaki, uh, Yaki uh, said, I mean, Yaki. I'm saying, we got to hook up with these. With the, we got to just hook up with each other physically. We got to get be able uh -huh. to be able to call each other physically too, and, and be able to meet up with each other in person. 
But yeah. that, that thought will come back to me later on. But yeah, but we got all the tools we need, bro. Like I said, my cousin Javon mm -hmm. is a prophet. This nigga called, he told me years ago. I'm talking about years, years, years ago. He said, bro, we just got to pray for tools, man. I remember we were sitting what? in church. We were sitting in church one Sabbath morning, and he was like, "We was he we wanted to get a he wanted to get a MacBook, and um, so we could record and get some like some Pro Tools stuff so we can do his music." And he was like, "Man, we just need tools, man. We just need to pray. Y'all give us tools." And then years go by, and now nigga, we got a whole studio. My brother got all kind of videography equipment, and he's good at it. You know what I'm saying? Like. We got everything. Y'all's gonna give it to us. We don't have to stress about, oh, I need mics or oh, I need this or oh, I need. Bro, he already is. If you got that, if it hits you right here, it can be he done. Already it. He gave us full, full access to a full business, bro. You feel me, man? We got it already. Look at this. This is what I've been working on since you've been, uh, before you called me. Judah, in Judah Incorporated. Oh, Judy and Corporate, that's hard, bro. Nigga, I got the whole, I got like seven businesses, eight businesses, right, that are all stemming from that one entity, that one corporation. But as a CEO, I'm going to oversee all the entities of my of my business. I'm accentuating yeah. all my talents, all my skills, all the wisdom that y'all has given me. I'm about to, I'm about to utilize it, not just for, for, for money and wealth, but really because I'm supposed to be a conduit of, of truth and information for the generations. I got daughters, so I got to put this what's in here on paper so that with, as they grow, they can read. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They can read it. They can know they're going to have my videos. They'll have all this stuff. So no, oh, daddy was about this. Daddy preached about this. Daddy taught about this. Uncle Malachi said this. He said that. So we're going to start putting this stuff down. Mm -hmm. you know I'm saying publishing it, doing our music. So like I said, I'm about to give me a little license. I'm going to get the LLC and all that stuff. That's all in the works. So, mm -hmm. so bro, we about to... Yep, that... All my niggas, all my, all my soldiers, we going to the top. Mm -hmm. To the top, bro. Matter of fact, we already on the top. Because y'all... We, we was on the bottom for so many years, but the truth set us free. So now you ain't finna call me no slave. You ain't finna say that I can't be what I want to be. Because as a man yeah. thinks, so is he. So if I think I'm a prince or a king, guess what? That's what I am. That's and what I, I got am. Bible to prove it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, the Bible, they, the, 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 no. Not just no, Bible, I got no, all kinds of texts. No, no, y'all got the Bible and it's telling you exactly about my type, man. Get this right here, my kind and everything else. So therefore, yeah. you go, man, hey, go take that, go read it, you feel me? Go read it, man, and get it down until you get it down. down, you feel me? You better get it down. Hey man, real shit though, man. Because hey man, time is now, bro. bro. Time is now, man. Yeah, too man, black, I can too tell strong. Man, too black, too strong. And I'm, I'm, I'm watching all these. I mean, I'm watching. Uh, this, the whole world is stagnated. The whole world is stagnated. They're on. The, they're, you feel me? They're at this right here. This is the time yeah. while we were stagnant, man. When we were stagnated back in the, you feel me? We were just like, uh, yeah, that's right. when they got the jump on it. This is our time. Yeah, exactly. It's when they stop. They stand still for a second. And they're trying to figure out which way to go. But that's the time yeah, okay. where when they in that little pause, we can move. And we can say, this is the way. Y'all thinking about the way. This is the way. This Yeshua the way. said, he the way, the truth and the light. And the life, which means pattern your life after his. Do what he did. Mm -hmm. Celebrate what he celebrated. The holy days of the Most High. You know what I'm yep. saying? Come out of Babylon, this weird ass society that's based on on, on, on money and, and, and sex and murder and lies, you know, commercialism. Come away from all of that and get to some place where you can actually have peace, man. Have peace. And know that Yah's looking down on me right now and he's happy. He ain't looking to me with a sword to kill me. He looking at me like, let me be a little patient with my son because he's uh -huh. trying to come out. Hey, hey, I he's saying go run now, keep running. You know, hey, hold on, I gotta, I gotta get my dog. I, I gotta go get my dogs real quick. Hold on, real quick. Okay, no, what do you think? Okay. Oh um, yeah, we gonna do that too. Them hell is coming. Hell yeah. What in the hell? Okay, I gotta get my keys. Down. Hold on.
one thing that this don't do, it don't, it don't, it don't show the time length of this of this recording. Oh, uh, I don't. Uh -uh. But it's okay. Hold on. Oh, you can choose virtual backgrounds on here and stuff. What? Hold on. Hold on. That's just so Hold on. Uh. Oh my. I gotta go get some fucking. Yeah. Come on, Chelsea. Come on. This is crazy. Ah, uh, hold on. Oh, yeah. Let's see, well, watch out, Chelsea. Ah, uh, hold on. See, ah. Uh. Oh yeah. Ooh, ooh, that's a nice looking rock right there, boy. My daddy <laughs> had one named Samson. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. That's the mama. Oh yeah. No, uh, that, no, that's the that's the girlfriend. That's the uh, the uh, wife. This, this okay. the husband. That's the wife. For sure. I, I just got this motherfucking papers in today. Dang, that's tight. Oh, right, man. Hey, I'll tell you what this will. This is my, oh, wait, what is that? Chill, hey, tight. Hey, take, get from over there. Watch this. Watch this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Watch this. Let me see. Uh, turn it around. Let me see. Oh, you're right there. Certified pedigree. Wow. Damn. That boy, man, that boy been investing, boy. Uh-huh. Yeah, hold That's on. That's crazy. Oh, get in there, get in there. Get in there. Hold on. Get your ass off. The, get off of this. Go. Get off. Get off. Hold on. Nope. Hold on. Bam. Okay. Oh, watch this. Uh, where was that? That was the. That was. That's the pedigree you showed me. Yeah, the pedigree. That and that's tanks right here. I got both of them and shit. Man, they got. Oh wow. Got, champ, got champions. Got champions all in the bloodlines, bro. All in the bloodline, bro. Oh wow. Got championship, man. Watch. Oh man, I can't wait. Oh yeah, you can teach me all of that. Man, that's hecka cool. That's hecka cool. That boy got the rock rollers. Oh. German Rottweilers, you feel me? Just like, and then when they get just get big and just hella, just like, yeah, yeah, you look like a rock too. Like, you, if you was just your, your your energy would probably be a rock rider if you could more if you could morph, yeah, man, <laughs> just turn to a Rottweiler. Yeah, that's my shit, you feel right there, you feel me. Little yeah. buck, buck, buck 50 pounds, like buck 50 pounds, just like hella hey, just massive. My cousin, oh, I got to get my cousin on here too. Oh, that's another person I'm about to add to this. Not right now, oh. but um, eventually I'm going to have you meet my cousin, uh, KK. And he's doing, oh. a, my cousin Caleb, he's doing a, um, which is funny because Caleb in Hebrew means dog. Oh, yeah? Oh. That's one of the meanings of Caleb. But no, but look, um, but he's doing a cartoon. He's a cartoonist. He's an artist. And yeah. one of the things he's doing is he's making a cartoon right now, but he's turning all of our family members into animal characters. But funky though. So he called oh. me, I called him from jail. He was like, I was like, what you doing, man? He said, oh man, I'm working on this cartoon right now. I said, what? He said, yeah, man, I'm turning everybody in the family into like cartoon characters. He said, what, what animal you want to be? I said, shoot, nigga, a lion, nigga. He was like, my dad's the lion. I said, okay, that's cool. I said, well, make me a gorilla then. <laughs> So you gonna make me to a gorilla with dreads, man? Since I'm a Gemini, nigga, I want to be a twin. I want to be turning me into two Rottweilers, man. A blue uh, female, you feel me? Ooh, that's Turn me I'm into gonna tell a you. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you. And the crazy thing is, I'm a Gemini too. See what I'm saying? You <laughs> 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 about to go? That's so that's fire. That's that's how I'm some Dragon Ball Z fusion right now. Yeah, fusion shit. Yeah, man. I've seen that shirt, man. That's my shit, bro. Yeah, I'm about to go download the game. I was about to go download the game like uh, yesterday. 
I'm, about to, I'm still about to do it. Watch. Come here. Come here. Oh, oh that's oh y'all in here just sleeping together. Come on. That's nice, man, of y'all, so, man. So but how, yeah, cut, cut how many how many how many rats you got? Uh two. Okay. Hey, come on. How many puppies? Two. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just these two. Yeah, she yeah, the bigger one, she she's only five months. He's only oh, two and a half months. I see, only two and a half months. Yeah. Are oh, you gonna raise him to breed? Yeah. Oh, for sure. That's that's super fire. Yeah, this is this is this, this this is my stud. He's my stud. Right. So now I don't have to pay for no I don't have to pay nobody. Usually I would have to pay like somebody like uh twenty five hundred or uh 3500 to breed with their dog, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And then I'll have to give I'll have to give them the first pick. Since yeah. I got the boy and the girl, since I got the boy and the girl, I don't have to give nobody shit. Exactly. That's right. Cut out the middleman, keep all your money. Yep. That's what's so there for. Okay, wait to meet him. Okay, wait to meet him after you get them all trained. I don't want to come over there and get ate up. I know, yeah, yeah. And then then, then what was good once they see me good with a person, once they see yeah. me good with a the person, then they open up. But if they don't see me good with the person, then that's when they have they have a problem. You feel me? I know what you mean. My daddy had a rock rider named Samson, right? Uh -huh. This rock rider was so big, dude. And I was living in, I think I was living in LA or something at the time. And I was away. And I had came back to the house and I didn't know he had the dog in the back, right? Yeah. So I went back there. Big ass. I'm talking about huge rock. This rock rider is probably like five and a half feet long, right? Just long. Uh -huh. He could jump, he could jump on his hind legs on top of a six foot fence, right? That's how big he was, right? So when I go back there, I seen him and he started growling at me because he ain't never seen me before. I was living in LA. And yeah. uh, so he growling like deep growling, like deep. And I'm like, I stopped, I said, I said, hey man, uh, I talked to him like, I'm, like he was a nigga. I said, yo, yo, yo owner, that's my dad. I said, and uh, I know you protecting him, but I'm his son and I protect him too. I told him, if you bite me, I'm gonna kill you. Just like that. Look right in the dog eyes. Told him exactly just like that. If you bite me, I'm gonna kill you, right? <laughs> the dog stood there and then I then I stood, I went to him too. Like he he, he like flexed on me and I flexed back on him. And it, once he noticed it, he kind of like backed down. You know what I'm saying? And then yeah. later on, my dad came out there and then and he seen he seen me with my dad, and then that's when he started getting cool with me, like real cool. But yeah, see, that's, so. that had that standoff had to go down though. Uh huh. Yeah, so like, it's a standoff, and then with Rottweilers, man, their their uh, their first like growl and bark is just, it's to uh, warn their masters and shit. You feel me? Okay, yeah. It's to warn it's to warn, it's to warn somebody. You feel me? Mm -hmm. one, so that's the first. That's the first. Yeah. You feel me? The, the, the second. The second is whoever's in your backyard or in your yard, nigga. They're gonna yell. <laughs> <laughs> You hear the initial growl, and all of a sudden you gonna hear somebody squealing. No, that's the that's the that's the that's the second one. You feel me? Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Man, my, my, I'm telling you, my man, my my son, he just tried to walk up in my door. He just, you feel me? Next to you, know, nigga, my girl, she was right there on the door. Bur, 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 bur. He, was, he was like, Dad, what's that? I was like, What you mean? That's my dog. He was like, Why you got that big ass dog? Why didn't you just get a puppy? I said, I have been having this dog since it was a puppy. Right. You feel me? Y'all motherfuckers ain't good over here, you feel me? So therefore, a nigga, my, my yeah, dogs don't know you. They get big, too. They get hella big. Oh, man. No, you should see these lines. Man, okay, man. These lines were specific, like specifically picked, bro. It wasn't just like, no, hey, man, I'm just buying the dog. No, no, man. I searched up the bloodline TK uh, uh, Gladiator son, you feel me, which is TK what? New Yorker, you feel me? So which is oh, the yeah, grandfather. You told me you spent thousands on him. Yeah, I spent, yeah, man, I, man, I only spent like down there seven, eight thousand dollars on dogs, bro. Dog and dog shit, bro. That's crazy, but it's gonna come back too, cause once you start breeding them. Uh huh. Once I start breeding them, and shit, man, that's what uh, that's like uh, three thousand dollars and thirty five hundred dollars a puppy. Right, but, man. That's bills paid. That's a month that's worth me. of of money. Hell yeah, man. That's and, man, and people gonna start right buying here. them more and more because, see, I'm a, I'm a type, of, I'm, I'm going all the way back, bro. I'm going back in time because back in the day, niggas had, you know, now they got these these uh, these home security systems, you know, um, Google housing, all that. Like, man, we not we didn't watch so many sci-fi movies about the end days when you get all that stuff in your house and then all of a sudden it turns on you and you can't get into your own house. 
I'm yeah. not. I'm just gonna give me a big ass rock rider, like two or three of the mugs, and just let them roam around. And ain't, ain't nobody what? finna come. Man, I look. I got cameras. I got cameras up in the side of my house. Yeah, nigga. But that's controlled by you though. Yeah, that's controlled by me, man. Backyard, man. Have two Rottweilers, man. In the front yard, man. I could honestly, I could put it. I could put one. Like, I'm training my. Okay, look, I'm training my dog basically to where she don't. Maybe she's fully independent on her own. You feel me? Like mm-hmm. when I'm, if he, she was out in the front, you stay in the yard. Somebody come up to the yard. You feel me? You allow them to come in. You feel me? But if they come up to the door, man. This is when you show show this. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm be showing them like that. You feel me? And like when when to and when not to. You feel me? Yeah. It, I mean, it's, it's a whole big, it's a whole struggle, bro. You got to honestly to be do to do this. You got to be with the dog twenty four seven, bro. Yeah, that's Which good. I am. That's I'm super with the dog good. Twenty four seven. Yeah. Man, that's cool, man. And they say a dog is a man's best friend for sure. It's a reason man, for that. I'm telling you, and y'all designed that like, thing, man, to to really be a part of our domestic life. Man, when my dog see me angry, man, my dog trying to calm me down. She come come lick my hand and look you for me and everything man. else and see you feel me. So therefore, I could just see if I had aggression towards somebody and somebody was coming, you yeah, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Like. If, Oh man, it's, it's... she jumping with you. Off top, man. Oh, she that's jumping tight. off top. She jumping off top. <sighs> man, so, you know, finally, so the only way you can find a loyal bitch is to actually get a bitch in. Gotta buy, gotta buy one. Gotta buy one, man. And then, and, oh, it, man. and and then once you buy one, if you got a girl, and you got a, if you got a dog, especially a female dog, and shit, man, guess what? You'll see these motherfuckers be jealous of each other. I believe that. I said, "What the fuck? Wait a minute, you, you, you'll you start get you'll start getting questions like, oh, you pay more attention to that dog than me.' Oh, you'll get man. that kind of thing. You see? You'll get that kind of thing. You see? So I'm like, what the fuck? That's that base nature, jealousy. Yeah, yeah. it's a I'm base like, nature. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, but. <laughs> That's funny, man. That's some funny stuff, bro. Yeah, you feel me? But I'm I mean, sorry, man. it is what it is. It is what it is, man. But I, 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 I just, I just had to come up on this and be like, man. First of all, man, let me know, man. Hey, man, I'm not. Oh, hold on. Oh, hello. You still there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, yeah. I don't know your okay, camera just disappeared. Oh, 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 okay, here you go. My bad. Yeah, yeah, no, that's good. The wrong button. Yeah, yeah, but um. Shit, everything good, man. Everything good, good, man. I just have to, I just have to let it be known, man. Hey, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's a Bobby B show. It is that. It's the princess. <laughs> it's time for the princess to come out, bro, and do our thing, man. Man, especially, time especially time in our own houses. You know, we ain't finna be run by no woman, dog. That's out. We not finna That's be out. run by our kids. That's out. That's out. Yeah, I'm 32 yeah, years I- old now. I'm not. Yep. And I know, and, and that's just that's just numbers in the human sense. Nigga, who, the wisdom that I have, it surpasses a 32-year-old, average 32-year-old. You see what I'm saying? So literally, I, I could be respected amongst 60, 70-year-old men because mm-hmm. they know, they can confirm that my wisdom is solid. So age ain't nothing but a number to me. Yep. He, Prince said, at your age, not your shoe size. Shoe size. <laughs> So you know we are gonna get it in, man, with this with this truth with this truth, bro. I'm I'm excited. Man, I can't Our wait. Our kingdom bro. is not far. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hold on. And man, and I think that's the whole big. Can you hear problem. that? Probably, yeah, I do hear that song. It. No, no, I don't hear the song. You hear the song? Okay. But man, I think they feel something is coming, man, because they know, man. Because I mean. I don't know, man. Yeah, bro. And then, Everybody I, feels I, it. Man, I, 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 I was tripping on the space force or, 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 or the galactic, the galactic federation. Uh, uh, federation. Did you hear about that? No. You ain't heard of the galactic, the uh, the galactic inner, or uh, the galactic federation. I heard that. I haven't it's heard about police, that per se. No, but I have heard it's that. Police, it's the police out of space. Yeah, that's what I heard about. Yeah. Why is the police out of space? Who are you policing out there? What are you policing? See? 
I got a, I got a lot of I got a lot of sci-fi conspiracies in my mind that I that we can bounce up oh, bounce God. off each other in another conversation. But for sure, I know what you're saying though. What you what the what? heck? And what about the fir- the firmament, man? We already know what's up with the firmament, man. You feel me, man? Hmm. Yeah. Oh man, that's gonna be it. We're gonna do. We're gonna start doing these episodes, man. Like every time, cause we already have to, these. These are the type of conversations we have naturally every day, anyway. Man, yeah, you, and we have to. We have to. Okay, everybody. Everybody in the world, they can't get along with shit, man. But guess what? When you go past the North Pole this way, man, it's, it's, they got they got a whole little treaty to where where don't nobody, where everybody keep this right here part of the thing a secret. And why right. you want to? What, what, what's over there, man? After you get past the blizzards and shit, you feel me, and all this other shit. Yeah. I mean, I, I flew in a plane before. Mm-hmm. I flew in a plane before. You flew in a plane before. Mm-hmm. For sure. Well, we're flying and shit, bro. I don't never. I mean, like, I, I mean, I, I don't feel myself flying upside down, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel what you're saying. Like, yeah. Oh, I, I see mean, what you're saying. Yeah, that's deep. That's deep. Right. When I'm, I'm, okay, if I'm coming over here and I'm, it, it, no, I mean, it's like I'm going in, in a straight right. spot. I mean, if I was going to yeah, turn yeah, this, yeah. Like, if I face this way, then we're going to go this way and then I'm going to watch the whole plane just turn like this. But am I going to actually watch this plane go right? Like, you no. see what I'm saying? I see what you're saying, bro. Yeah, man. Everything is, we've been shown with our eyes from NASA. Can't be trusted. Can't White be folks can't teach us shit. No they, they, no, hey, that's what the fuck I'm talking about, man. That's mm-hmm. what I'm talking about, man. man I'm not, that's why I can't even, like, they were like, well, the studies show. I'm like, who study? And then, right. oh, I'm, I'm, I'm on that shit quick. Like, who study? Yeah. Like, wait yeah. a minute. Nigga study of you, you Jewish scientists and you, you're Jewish. Right. You, get, get, get up out of here. I ain't trying to hear you. No, not nigga, you're a liar. You're no, a liar. Time. I already know who you are. No, mm-hmm. no, Demon. no. And then you got you got you got these dumbass niggas. Well, well, they've been in they've been knowing this kind of stuff for this long. Of course they would know. Like what the fuck, you you idiot! Get the fuck, man! You, you're black. You nigga, guess what, nigga? You go with Uncle them, Tom, nigga. No, fuck that. that. You go, nigga. Get over there with them. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, bro, I can't wait for you to see this exposition I wrote. <laughs> bro, when you hear this exposition, my nigga, oh my god! I actually want to read you one part of it. Uh, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> this is the uh, <laughs> this is the this is the exposition right here. First of all, this is all handwritten. This is sixty pages, handwritten, and uh, this part right here is the ending. This is the ending of it. This is how I end the the. The uh, monologue, I mean, I ended with a monologue, right? Yeah. But the monologue is written in the spirit of Huey Freeman from the Boondocks. And I wish to the most high that he would reunite me with, with uh, he would unite me with my wife, Regina King, you know, with the woman I love. <laughs> I'm afraid. What the hell? So, Regina King, you know, Regina King, the one that do the voices for the Boondocks. No. Yeah, yeah, she, uh, is, um, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Okay, yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay, next guy, I just, I just. Now you just muted yourself. I can't hear you now. You you put mute and your screen is there. You go. Stay right there. Yeah. Okay, so that's safe driving mode. My bad. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. But I yeah, know what no, the hell so. That was. <clears throat> yeah, I was just saying that I wrote this 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 monologue in the spirit of uh, of the Boondocks, uh, Huey Freeman. The one with the afro, yeah. the little boondocks boy with the afro. Oh yeah, the the brother. Yeah, the brother. So I was hoping yeah. that Regina King would uh would do it for me, and I could put it like on something, like on the back of on the end of an album or something. Or I might do a pot. I might do a, a, a audio version of my exposition where I'm actually reading my own words to the person that's written to. But this is how uh-huh. it ends. This is how it ends. This is how I close it out. And I'm gonna try to read it in this in the spirit of uh, Huey. So try to, I'm gonna try to sound like him. I don't, I don't know if I can do it, but I'm gonna try. It says, <laughs> hold on. Whew. All right, here we go. All right, it say, the era, the era of the Uncle Tom 
has come to an abrupt end. The spirit of cowardice exuded by the Uncle Toms of the Black community has been forever marked. And those men and women who operate in such spirits of spiritual and natural adultery are henceforth rightly labeled by the revolution as sellouts who sold their birthrights, even their souls, for the instant gratification of the right now. Blind to the future glory of Zion, they've sided with their, her enemies and therefore joined themselves with the devils and to Satan, the adversary, who by means of an unjust system of disloyal, disorderly law enacted through wicked governments and controlled by demonically influenced and even possessed men and women seek to surround Zion, our holy city, in a fierce and fire ring of injustice. I'm sorry, fierce and fiery ring of injustice, bloody brutality and hateful oppression. Therefore, those of us in the revolution, I'm sorry, therefore, those of us active in the revolution pray earnestly for the weeding out of all coon ass, Uncle Tom ass sellouts by the hand of Almighty God. <laughs> two, we hope and pray fervently to be rid of all evil women, those ratchet and foolishly ignorant, loud mouth seductresses whose beds are the gateways to hell. Proverbs 7 1 through 27. For they are more dangerous to our revolution than the man himself, because although they bear in the flesh the likeness of us melanated ones, in the spirit they long to be associated and assimilated into and onto the side of this wicked society of our oppressors. At least we are able to instantly identify the man by sight. But the coon is only discerned in the spirit through close observation of his or her actions, behavior, and character. Therefore, be on guard against these cowardly wolves and sheep skin, my brothers, and keep yourselves far from the seductress eyelashes of the adulterous woman. Stay vigilant and Godspeed. Sincerely admonished in love and concern for the people, civil rights activist and revolutionary Huey Freeman. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Who wrote that? Oh, man, you know that's a fire, bro. Who wrote that? I wrote that. You wrote that, bro? Nigga, what? You ain't, that's not nothing compared to the other stuff I got, bro. That's fire, that nigga, though. That nigga, that nigga went off, nigga. He said, yo, coonery, little buffoonery looking <laughs> up. He said, let me tell you about yourself. Bring your ass back around here real quick, man. Here, stand here real quick so I can just, nigga, open up and, nigga, Bro, flame on. Get this flame shit right on. here, guys. <laughs> Whoa. That era is I'm over. Dead. It's dead. Bro, I'm telling you, I got so much flame. What are you going to say about that? After somebody just got on your ass like that, nigga, you didn't even see that coming, nigga. It was, nigga, it, it sounded too good. And I want, <laughs> I really want Regina King to do it, though. <laughs> I wish y'all was with, 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 with hook me up with Regina King, man. I just, when I got, the first day I got out of jail, my brother took me to get some clothes, right? From yeah. Target. God bless him. He, we walked in the, to the grocery store aisle, to the line to pay for all the stuff, right? Yeah. And, and um, Regina King's picture was right, right there, bro, on the, um, on the, on some mag, People magazine. Her, she was on the cover. Yeah. And I'm like, that's my girl, man. I need her help. Cause if she do this, if she if she does this in Huey's voice, bro, that might spark a whole other season of the Boondocks. Yeah, yeah, that will. And everybody will be to tune in. That first of all, Boondocks is the funniest cartoon ever made. Period, for black people and for white people, just period. Cause it was written by the people who wrote the Boondocks. The writers were prophets. Those are the same. I think they're the same people that wrote the book of Eli, the movie. I'm I'm, I'm not 100 percent about that, but I think I heard that the same writers who wrote the Boondocks wrote serious? the book of Eli. Yeah, and and they wrote um they wrote uh Minister Society too. Then brothers, I forget that. I'm upon their name out. Hold on, let me see. Let me. I got the Google. Yeah, that's, that's sure. I, can, I, I can I can read, I can look it up. I know, nigga, you ain't in jail no more. <laughs> Man, <laughs> they, 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 they messed up. They should not let this mind about that cage, bro. And this mind came about that cage. I already knew I was coming out just for war. 
Uh, y'all already told me. As soon as you get out, get your soldiers together and start fighting. Because you're coming out to the apocalypse. You're not coming out here to no society that's going to welcome you. Oh, yeah, welcome home. Aww. No, that's out. No, you're not. You're not. No, you're not coming back home to that nigga. You coming back into motherfucking war. You feel me? Okay. And, we, and, 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 and man, hold on, man. And we all, man. And we all, go, hey, we all sold you in God's eyes. Come on, Reverend. Did we you feel me? Squad, man, he didn't make man, no we suckers. All, man, come on, we all bro. sold you in God's eyes. Now all that war. Come on, <laughs> you feel me? All of it. We need all of that because all of the. Uh, all of the uh, the prophets in the Bible and the priests and the preachers in the Bible were all freaking warriors. It was the it was the three. They were not punks. They were not sissies. They were not none of that. They would go in there and they guess what, nigga? They'll smack your ass down. Nigga, and guess what, nigga? Made every last one of them. You feel me? They didn't care what it was about. Nigga, don't disrespect, nigga. Even the one y'all call, nigga, who y'all call him, nigga. Guess what? He was in there, nigga, turning shit over, over, flipping tables, whipping. You know, contemplate it real smooth. Okay, you're okay, gonna break go the whip ahead, first. He out there thinking go about ahead. the situation. What am I gonna do with these wicked Negroes in this church right hey, now? He, he, he was not like, oh, I wonder. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, 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 my, heart, my heart's broken for. No, he did uh, weep though. He did weep, but it wasn't on no song. He's like, man, I'm so mad. I gotta go whoop these niggas up out this out this church. Who I don't go feel here, like break that, this man? Whip. I, man. Man, man, guess what, man? They be having me feel like I'm, I'm gonna cry right now on this motherfucking spot, nigga. Man, guess what, nigga? Man, guess you don't, man. Guess what? When somebody cry, that's when you got, you gotta watch out for the people who cry, man. Because really once do. you cry, nigga, you feel me? Because guess really what, tough. nigga? That means, nigga, you really, and they gonna fuck you up. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Why you over there laughing? And this person crying. Why you over there laughing? This person crying, man. This nigga laughing. This nigga laughing for some reason. And this nigga over here crying for a reason. And guess what? The reason why you crying is gonna weigh out way more than why you're laughing. You feel me? So therefore, yes, I mean, that means that that means your ass is in trouble. You grass. I mean, that means your ass is grass. You feel me? So you better off time. Pump your brakes, man. Figure out the situation at hand. You feel I me? I was like that when I was a kid. I was like that, bro. I used to whenever somebody would do me wrong and I would end up getting a fight, I would get crying mad first, and I would cry, and then niggas be like, "Oh, look at him, he crying." But after that, nigga, it's flame on, and it. And I'm beating ass. Yeah, that's a, it. <laughs> hey, I was like that too. You feel I me? Mean, I like, like fourth grade, fifth grade. Fifth grade. Because, I, I, I don't know. I think the biggest part was I thought after after it happened, I, I, I would get in trouble or something. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know what it was. You feel me, man? But then, oh my God, every single time, flame on, flame on, flame on, man. And that's what happened with joint wrestling. That's the time yeah. shit that had me join wrestling. <laughs> For sure. For sure. <laughs> Oh my For God, sure, bro. It's it's ridiculous because that's looked at as weakness, but it's it's really looked at as like it's something else. It's something more, much deeper than that. But mm -hmm. but yeah, nah. Um, it's like man, nigga, and then we get hella strong. Man, we over here fighting for a reason. You over here laughing at me too, nigga. Right. <laughs> oh. oh, you think I'm a bitch? Okay. I'm telling you, man. When I was young, when I was younger, when I was younger, man, uh, my auntie boyfriend, this nigga used to always nigga like, oh nigga, you a punk, and this and that, and this and that, nigga. Yeah. And, you feel me, nigga, and all kind of shit. Nigga, I turned twenty one, bro. I turned twenty one, twenty two. Nigga, I already met my first baby mama and shit. You feel me? This mm. nigga tried to, you feel me, nigga? I'm talking about nigga from the power of grade school, nigga. <laughs> you, re you remember that nigga he man nigga yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you said Shoot, from the man. power let's <laughs> go nigga <laughs> real tough oh my mama yeah, bro that's yeah, type man, of stuff man. man that I love because it just shows us how we can use all of that whatever it is bro right, if, we if we just like Dragon Ball Z you channel that if you channel that energy, we used to practice that, bro. I used to literally that, be outside, bro, like man, trying to bro, get fire to come through my hands. Why, like. why do you think the why why do you think the Chinese why do you think the, look at that mentality right there? Why do you think they always got that? You feel me? Yeah, yeah. It's it's because it's real and, 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 and it's not pacified. You feel me? That's the way they all. Mm hmm. Are you feel me? Man, from the pacified. I'm talking about. 
Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you look like a uh, Chinese. You look like a Chinese uh, monk when you was doing that. How they be talking mess? How the Chinese be talking shit? Yeah, you know, right. like the old. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's art. Oh my god, damn man, we were just so fucked off as a. Oh man. Yeah, man, but it's gonna come back. Like, oh, it better come back, maybe because guess what? Some shit gonna have to go. <laughs> really? Back on the ship it goes. Back on the ship it go, dog. Yeah, this dude, <laughs> uh, the one who wrote the Boondocks, his name is um, is Aaron Vincent Magruder. And oh uh, man. Yeah, oh, he's man, a writer, he's name. a lecturer, a producer, a screenwriter, cartoonist, best known for the boondocks. Like uh, Magruder, I know he was a pimp. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, other he work, he like did uh super he did the Black Jesus. <laughs> he did the Adult Swim, uh he was on the Adult Swim broadcast, Cartoon Network. Um Oh yeah, no, he didn't do the book of Eli. That's all I was trying to see if he did the book of Eli too, but he, I don't think he did. Hey, man, I don't know, man. All the whole man. And what happened? Okay, man. And look, you know how you know how you know the media is foul and faulty. Mm -hmm. What happened to Jeffrey Epstein's wife or his mistress? What happened to her? I don't. I don't even know about that that situation at all. Oh man, yeah, you was locked up. That's right. Oh man, yeah, they locked man, man. The, the big the biggest you feel one of the biggest things right there man man i don't know man this i know they're doing a bunch of evil stuff though that's for sure i know that I, I, man, they're trying to they're trying to like like my boy yaki was just saying they're trying to freaking uh silence folks she probably got silenced she probably got killed or paid off or something whatever happened because man it's the same okay okay jeffrey epstein you you know who he is right Mm hmm Okay, bam. Okay, this nigga they said that uh uh he killed himself in his in his cell or something. Right. Or he was found dead in his cell or whatever type shit. Okay, a few months a few months later, man, they find his mistress and shit, you feel me? She's uh caught up and she's supposed to be testifying and shit, you feel me? And mm -hmm. um Yeah, this is so, man, this is, whew, I'm having so much fun. They might, they might kill us, nigga. We don't know how long we're going to be able to. <laughs> you said what? I said, they, gonna, they already know they're trying to come, they're coming for our heads. Well, okay, well, um, first of all, oh, man, you got to get past the pack of dogs that's coming. Oh, yeah, I'm past it. I'm just saying, I'm just thinking about the situation with Epstein. I'm telling, I'm telling, I'm telling, I'm telling, I'm telling, I'm telling, yeah. Yeah, man, yeah, that shit, man. That that's I don't know that shit right there. That's how do y'all okay? Y'all just let these big ass high profile motherfuckers just get all away with this. Ain't nobody even worried about man. I, look, at, it's crazy. Everybody at one time they were worried about Epstein. As soon as the presidency shit started to come up, then they were worried about that. They said nothing about Epstein. Epstein is totally out the fucking picture, man. I don't even know that he trafficked. Hella, hella, you feel me, minors or whatever type of shit, you feel me, and sexual, you feel me, all kind of shit. Ain't nobody mm -hmm. talking about it. Man, why ain't nobody talking about it? It was being talked about, and then all, but that's how they do, because they know that people in America are trained to. to and as, yeah. And as soon as the PS5, as soon as the PS5 came out, man, wasn't nobody mad at nobody no more. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They distracted now. Man, I'm like, oh my god, man! I, I was like, I can't. Was I'm, like, glad, oh, I'm, like, I'm glad that you that you are being. I can see that because I'm like, I'm like, y'all some weird motherfuckers, man. Yeah, I'm like, man, don't talk to me, man, right now, man, because you actually, actually, you kind of <laughs> weird right now. You feel me? I tell them, bless you. Bless you. Bless you. My bad. Thank yeah, you. Man, yeah, you feel me? Yeah, but I got to. I, I be like, man, don't, man. Okay, man. Don't don't talk to me about no weird shit, man. Yeah, no, I feel you. I'm the same way. I don't want to be distracted from what I'm on, on the inside because all of us, we, the, the body is, is our temple. 
And mm -hmm. the flesh is not who we are. Our, our soul and our spirit are wrapped up in this flesh. The flesh is the tent in which we live in. Yeah. So I don't want nobody coming to my tent talking about bullshit. Stay the hell out of my tent, man, with that bullshit. Man, man, don't, please. don't try to entertain my thoughts. Like man, the word inter entertain me. means to enter me and detain me. Detain me. That's to entertain. Yeah, to entertain is to for something to come inside you, bro. Whether spiritual, demonic, or idea, or whatever, which still is and, and hold you hostage. Like, no, I'm not, I'm cool. I don't need to be entertained. No, no reason. I don't need to be no. amused. Don't amuse me, you know, like shit. So, um, oh, so yeah, it's the Hughes brothers. The Hughes brothers were, um, they're film directors, our film directors and producers. So they produced and directed Minutes to Society, Black presidents, I mean, dead Black presidents, dead presidents, the Book of Eden. Wait a minute. I missed that one. Yeah. <laughs> dead presidents and then the Book of Eli and another movie called From Hell with Johnny Depp. So yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, they they some heavy hitters. But yeah, man, we gonna we gonna definitely start to increase these talents and these abilities and these skills that we have and these businesses that we got going on. We're gonna definitely. Oh yeah, that's that's man though, man. Are you, basically, man, with business, man. Basically, business, man. Motherfuckers, man. A lot of people they don't know how to sit still. Mm -hmm. Exactly, because they ain't never been to jail, or prison. When you when you go to prison, man, you definitely learn how to sit still. And yeah. Just meditate and focus. And there's nothing that I can see. No, nothing's gonna shake my focus, bro, from what I'm on right now. Man. First of all, because I got, I have, I have, I have product that I have to produce. It's on paper, yeah. but it has to come to fruition in the cloud, and it has to come to fruition in the physical. So I got, um, I got a brand. My brand is gonna be Judah, Judah Inc. Oh, that's fresh. We got the sage. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> like the incense in the temple, the tabernacle, brethren. Yeah, man. So, um, but yeah, I, I just pray that the most high bless all of our uh our uh our plans and what we're trying to do. That he come along with us and and, and let it be yay in his name. You know what I'm saying? Cause I got this Judah brand. Him. My Judah brand, it's gonna be so fresh, man. Like you said, you said, you said, you said, you said not Judah. No, it's it's Judah. It's the Judah brand. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the Judah brand, and and I'm gonna come up with a symbol for it. Um, I'm gonna come up with. Uh, I'm gonna produce uh, hoodies. I'm gonna do beanies, t-shirts, backpacks, um, pencil holders. Watch, I'm, I'm gonna show you some of this stuff because I know that you are interested in. Uh, so this is what I wrote down. I typed it this morning. I've been working on this for a couple of days. This is what I got so far. Follow me for about, uh, give me about five to six minutes to do this real quick. This is, it says, uh, business plans for acquiring wealth and wisdom for life and love. The overview is the concepts through which I accentuate my gifts, talents and skills and wisdom. Notes, incorporation. This is the definition of incorporation. The first one is to you to unite closely, or as to form one body, to form into or become a corporation. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling all of these ideas and these concepts for business that I have. I'm pulling them all together to unite them and to form one body. There's that. Therefore, it's Judah Incorporated. Right. And then corporate corporate also means incorporated and it said it means belonging to an incorporated body. So we can say, yeah, I'm going, I'm making, I'm making myself corporate. I'm a corporate entity now. Oh, okay. It's a legal creation, a legal creation authorized to act with the rights and liabilities of a person. Listen, that's how you don't go to jail. Exactly. You can hit my business, but you can't touch my physical. But you, you know physical. what I mean. So it's this is this is me, and um, and then corp, the abbreviated of corp, right? It means uh, an organized subdivision of a country's military forces. 
So when you yeah, say what? corp, C O R P dot. Yeah. It, it, it's really specific to a, a, a subdivision of a country's military. Country. Yeah. And our country is Zion, right? Judah is our country. Um, and it also, the corp also stands for a group acting under a common direction. So all these entities are, are a part of a military force, which is Israel and Judah. And then it's all acting under a common direction. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the brand, the brand and the company name is Judah Incorporated. Judah Inc. is the company to, is a, it, uh, Judah Inc. is the company to organize, unite, and oversee all of the operating entities of my business over which I am chief and um, chief executive officer, which is CEO. These businesses, products, and services are Millennium Zion. This is the first one. So Millennium Zion, this is fire, bro, because you know the Messiah said he's going to rule for a thousand years. And we're going to reign with him. We'll reign with Christ for a thousand years in the millennial kingdom. So I just said, okay, let's just manifest that now. I'm on mommy. I'm in Zion. I'm in the millennium. So I'm coming up with a company called Millennium Zion. This is an educational program dedicated to the biblical teachings of holy culture and spirituality passed down from the patriarchs of Israel for the nurturing of the souls and spirits of those of us who are saints of Zion and New Jerusalem in the millennial reign of our Messiah, Yehoshua. This would happen via physical class sessions, meaning like we actually have a class, a classroom setting where, we where I teach or other teachers come and teach and social group discussions. I mean, in small group discussions, including YouTube um, virtual lessons online, right? Um, at Millennium Zion at youtube.com. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a room and even in Zoom called Millennium Zion, where I'm where we're okay. teaching Bible study lessons and stuff. Uh, we're also gonna utilize other media outlets and written curriculum, um, and uh, and we're gonna produce our own written curriculum. We're not gonna learn from white folks no more. Y'all not gonna tell us about the world being round like a a, a marble. You're not telling us, man. We're gonna make our own curriculum, and we're gonna produce our own pub. Uh, we're gonna publish our own books. That I, that I write and the other people that are involved, um, my corporate partners, right? All right, so that's Millennium Zion. That's yeah. the first one. Then I have Judah Corpse Education. Judah Corpse Education. This is a stem of the Millennium Zion education tree that incorporates physical education and all practical wisdom for children and preteen groups that will nurture their physical growth and emotion, their physical, emotional, and mental. Uh, I'm sorry, that will nurture their physical growth, emotional and mental spiritual, uh, spiritual maturity. Sorry, I got to reword that. All right. Um, by preparing and equipping them for the storm of life through lessons that develop understanding and increase their skill sets by honing the gifts and talents that Yah has blessed them with. We will discuss diet and cooking, fitness and athletics meditation and music, writing and language, art and creative concepts, business and prudent financial practices, all rooted in the wisdom of the word of life, which is the Torah. All right, that's the second. So that's that's Judah Corp. That's for the kids. Number three, Judah Gate Guitars. This is my guitar brand. So JJG or JGG is a company mm -hmm that produces guitar accessories, fittings, bags, straps, picks, clothing, etc. I also aspire to design and produce an entirely new guitar that um, that Judah Gay Guitars will patent. And it's gonna be called the Shemineth, which is a Hebrew word for a seven string instrument, right? Seven a, string lyre. A seven string lyre, yeah, lyre, yeah, exactly. And the, the seventh string that I'm that I'm adding is going to be a bass string, and it's going to be a C note. <laughs> that's fire. All right, sure. so that's Judah Gay Guitars. And then I got number four is Judah Inc. Publishing. So uh, this is going to be short called JP. JP is a publishing company through which Judah Incorporated will funnel written materials, i.e. books, curriculums, pamphlets, articles, um, and other for publishing. So... If we got writers on the squad, people want to put, put their books out, they can go through Judah Publishing. 
Yep. And then number five is just the Judah Inc. brand, just the brand, right? So the Judah brand and logo will also be accentuated as an entity for marketing. I plan, I hope, plan, and pray to produce useful products for the students and supporters of Judah Incorporated. Stationary products, pens, pencils, erasers, sharpeners, notebooks, etc., all fit for one who loves to write by hand and calligraphy, right? And, and people who like calligraphy, stationary of high grade quality that bears the Judah Inc. brand label. So we're basically just gonna get some really high quality pens and nice pencils and stuff like that. That's gonna have Judah stamped on it, the Judah brand. Okay. And then that's, cause I love writing, you know? So I even for me, cause I started writing by hand more, like you feel the different types of pens and pencils that you use, the different types of lead you can see. So it becomes more like an art. So I really want to, mm -hmm. uh, I want to, I want to, I want to have stuff that are like really not like only writers are going to really appreciate like, damn, this pencil is really has a nice lead texture. Or this pen has a nice ball, you know, and ink in it. Like only real writers yeah. are gonna appreciate that shit. But I'm going yep. to do that. And then I'm going to have gear. So the Judah Ink brand gear, I hope to express fashionable gear to accompany the brand. We're going to have backpacks, beanies, hoodies, pencils and pens, pen holders, um, bandanas for dreads for locks um mm -hmm. t-shirts i want to i want to make i want to brand a, a beard brush for brothers that got beards um mm -hmm. and i and the gear from um also from the guitar uh from judy gate guitars will be involved of course too um with the label and then lastly in this portion under the brand under the judah brand is going to be uh, uh also under the brand judah inc i hope to plan i i hope plan and pray to present Beads and Bands by ZZ and Ali. So this is a beauty brand that offers cute hair products for girls like beads and colorful rubber bands and bows and silk head wraps and stuff like that for their hair. And that's going to uh -huh. be for my daughters. Hell yeah. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? They can learn how to do business as a child. And then, the, um, and then I got the Healing Hands of Zion. So Healing Hands of Zion. The Healing Hands of Zion is a massage therapy program focused on healing, soothing, and managing muscle and joint pain um, caused by stress and injury um, and or normal wear and tear on the body. Um, here, we educate our clients to live overall healthy lifestyles through healthy vital diets, proper hydration, proper stretching, stretching and exercise, not to exclude mental relaxation and meditation and emotional revival of positive feelings and spirits. Um, through these mediums, we pray the Most High Yah use our hands as his tool to cure the issues of the soul, spirit, and body. Um, I'm going to school right now. I just got enrolled in, uh, in the um, National Holistic Institute to, to study massage therapy. I started oh, February yeah. 8th. So um, once I Is start- be online? Uh, no. Oh, yeah. It's going to be virtual right now. I was, before COVID hit, I was already enrolled, but I got locked up a month before I was supposed to start. I think I told you that. Yeah, I remember. They had gave me like $16,000 in uh in scholarships and um and financial aid and loans. But I got uh, up literally you? like less than a month before I was supposed to start. Damn. So, but I called the lady. I had a meeting with her on via Zoom the other yesterday, matter of fact, and um, my counselor. And she's like, oh yeah. no, we have all your information. You can just, we're going to get you back started. So you'll be back in February, but it's all virtual now. But we'll, okay. we will have hands-on courses because, you know, being a massage therapist, you got to go in and do it. And all yeah. of that was um, was sparked because my wife, she has seizure disorder. And so her muscles would be cramping up and she'd be in pain and all that type of stuff. So I was like, I was massaging her all the time. And I'm like, yo, um, I want to make sure that what I'm doing is actually right. You know what I mean? I don't want to just be rubbing on you and I'm popping on your joints and shit and mess, make stuff worse. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I started studying. So then I have also under this Healing Hands of Zion, I'm going to publish through Judah Publishing um, a, a book, a literary work titled uh, Body Mechanics. And I'm going to hook up with Yaki, my brother that, you, that was talking earlier on YouTube, Facebook. I'm going to hook up with him um, because I want to talk about the blood, the breath, and water. Um, and how, because that's a biblical thing too. So I'm going to talk to him about that and see if we can get together like a little small diet nutritional pamphlet to give to our clients you know what i'm saying publish yeah. 
through black men, the kings of the earth. So, and then the last thing I got is, um, uh, is called Operation Dove Delivery. And what this is, this is gonna be a ministry to um, those sons and daughters of incarcerated fathers. Um, because the Bible tells us to, to look after the fatherless children. So if a daddy get locked up in prison for whatever reason, and if their child don't got daddy out there no more, and who knows if he's cool with the mama or not, but the, the whole point is to keep correspondence between the, the fathers that are behind the bars and, and the children that are on the outs. Yeah. So, say it's the kid's birthday and the daddy locked up. He can't like give him no gift. So they can contact us, you know what I'm saying, via um, via mail and we can, they can, you know, we'll send them a, a, a questionnaire about what their son is into, um, what his favorite toys are, um, and yeah. they have like a little portion on the questionnaire, like a little uh, 50, 50 uh, word or 100 word um, little bar where they can write like a personalized note. And then what we do as missionaries is that we'll go get the toy for the kid from whatever store yeah. or online or whatever. And then um, we'll deliver it either by hand or by mail um, with the yeah. hundred, with the little statement that the father wrote from jail. You know, and then one of the things I wanted to do was I wanted to encourage the family or the son or the, the child or whoever's the guardian of that kid that's 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 a, yeah. without their daddy to take a picture of the child with the toy and send it back to us so we can send it to their dad. Uh -huh. yeah. So it's just a, it's yeah. just a little connection between to help the fatherless kids and the, the, the daddies that's missing their kids behind bars even to this very second. Yeah, would you be able to do that with the restrictions that they have like on the DV cases and everything else? Would you be able to do some things like that? I mean- uh, I think I'm, I'm well, yeah, what I'm gonna try to do is make it into like, cause this might actually grow to something bigger, but what I'm thinking, cause I haven't, I didn't talk about that side of it, but what I want, I, what I wanted to do is be more like a, 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 almost like a social services type of thing to where we're actually sanctioned by the government to be that, oh. in a, that mini, that mediator, that, that middle person, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Cause the Marjorie Mason Center and shit like that, they're evil. They're actually fostering separation between the father and the mother and the children. They're not trying to bring these people together in a healthy, you know what I'm saying? Margie, but 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 the, yeah, I mean yeah, but you know the Margie Mason, that's that's their number one go to. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, and they're the only, they're the only battered well, women's shelter in so, Fresno. Yeah. Nobody else is doing. Oh, you and your husband got into it. What happened? Like, come over here. We'll talk to you. We'll get you guys. You know, we'll figure out what nobody else, they're the only ones doing it. And they're working with the courts directly with the DA and with the uh, the, the detectives, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And they're manipulating them. my wife right now, bro, with her evil ass. She started a, a Facebook, a, a Instagram thing called um, some bullshit about domestic violence advocate. Like, oh my God. I'm like, you domestic violence advocate? How are you gonna be an advocate for, for, for domestic violence and you ain't never been a victim of domestic violence? I wasn't slapping on my wife, punching on my wife, spitting on my wife, kicking my wife, never. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the fact that she's playing this role is not coming from her own spirit because she knows that. She's being influenced by her wicked ass dad and her and the Marjorie Mason Center to take this stand, this like in this Me Too generation. Like, oh, wow. But in order for her to do that, she has to make me look like I'm a demon, like I'm evil, like I'm like I'm out here just beating on her. You yep. can't be a, a victim of them. You can't be a domestic violence advocate and have this testimony without having gone through it, which is actually what she's doing. But you have to have somebody to have, to, to have victimized you. So what you're saying is I'm just a deadbeat husband. Like I'm a I'm an abusive husband. That's what she's saying by doing this. So I'm like, okay, I definitely see what's going on here. Um, so what we're gonna do with our uh Operation Dove Delivery, I was gonna call it Operation Dove Drop at first, but Dove Drop sounds like bird shit, you know what I mean? Like dove drop. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, I see. <laughs> Like, nah, maybe I'll just call it Dove Delivery. And so, um, 
Yeah, so that's what that one is. And that's just basically to reunite the fathers and mothers too, but I'm gonna deal with the men first. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a help my brothers that's down first. I wrote a song in there. I wrote a couple songs in there, bro, that's fire. But uh, yeah. But yeah, so anyway, that's, that's, that's all the Judah Incorporated um, business, corporation, brand. And, and all the entities that's involved in it right now. And I feel like that's a good way for me to express all of myself as a as a as a as a being on this earth. Mm -hmm. You know, a spiritual being, not, not just a human being. But we're we're more spiritual than we are human than flesh. You see what I'm saying? The flesh is just a team. Mm -hmm. And the flesh is a punishment. This flesh we got, bro, is a result of sin. Adam I mean, I'm not saying he didn't have flesh, but it, it wasn't it wasn't bent towards evil like it, like this one is. It, it didn't feel pain. Adam was said to be able to put his his hand in the fire, and and he was in the fire. And it just danced around his fingers. It didn't mm -hmm. it didn't burn him because his because he was pure. And then he was also said that um, that he could see angels. Now we got this flesh, and our eyes are we can't see into the spiritual realm no more. Because this flesh is a punishment. It's just mm -hmm. like uh, I was telling my cousin this and some other people in jail at a Bible study I was teaching that we all know Spider-Man and we know Venom. Venom is very cool because Venom is a symbiotic suit that has a will of his own, right? So when Spider-Man's a, Spider a good guy, but when Venom gets on Spider-Man, he starts doing evil stuff. So you, as a soul and spirit of, of that stems from God in his image, when you put this flesh on you, you start doing evil stuff. And the flesh talks to you. It tells you, oh, nigga, get drunk. Oh, man, go hit that. Oh, man, go steal that. Oh, man, smoke that. Or, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, the flesh is, is, is pulling you to something. Just like Billy mm -hmm. tell Spider-Man, hey, man, we gonna come over here, man. No, you know, and you hear, that's, I was hearing voices, bro. My flesh was talking to me. These demons was also talking to me in the spirit. So yeah, so 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 what I'm what I'm learning is that we got to get the flesh under control. You know, yeah. Because we're spiritual beings. The flesh is attacking the spirit. The, the spirit and the flesh are contrary to one another. They fight against each other. And so I'm all about being the spiritual being that I'm supposed to be hitting. Really? I'm hitting the, the flesh is a veil too. The flesh Hello? hides who we really are. Oh, go ahead. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you perfect. Oh, okay. Man, yeah, I thought, man, I thought I was saying some crazy stuff. I don't know what the hell that. Let me see. Mm -hmm. You, you said you can hear me loud and clear. Yeah, I got you. Okay, fuck it. I ain't touching shit then. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, it's good though. But so yeah, that's all. That's all, man. So oh, yeah. But I'm excited, man. Like we we win. The, the war's already over. Yeah, this yeah, this war over. Yeah, four hundred. Uh, man, it could it could it could have went all other ways and shit. That's crazy. But they had to they had to run until the wheels fell off. You feel me? <laughs> man, it fell off, bro. Straight off. Straight off, bro. So. I'm on man. They don't believe man. Right, look look at right about now. This is look look at. Oh. And then wait. Look at the election, man. Everybody, sixty-eight percent of people said that the election was uh, uh, was rigged. You feel me? So now the citizens of the United States doesn't even believe in the voting. Oh yeah. You know what's gonna happen, bro? <laughs> That's a war. That means your vote didn't count. Like everybody been telling you for you, your man, your vote don't count. Your vote don't count. And all of a sudden, guess what? Uh, twenty twenty, your your vote it was to prove your vote didn't count. Mm hmm. They've been exactly. cheap. Straight up, man. It don't count. It never counted. I, I never see black people over here, bro. We have not really been a part of this society, bro. We're just here. We're just here. They said y'all niggas is three fifths of the human. You're slaves. You don't get to vote. We had to fight for that. Yeah. They never wanted us a part of their voting processes. I've never voted in my life. I voted one time um, for, for some local issues. I've never voted for a president. I've been on the, I've been in this country 32 years. And some people are like, oh, how could you not vote? And I'm not saying that niggas shouldn't, 
But I'm just what I'm saying is that it's not our game. This is their game. You know, and we can take it over like we do every other game. They wouldn't let us play basketball. We started playing basketball, took that over. They wouldn't let us play baseball. And then Jackie Robinson knocked it out the park a couple of times. And now we took that over. So I'm not saying that we can't get involved in it and become the best at it. But I just see that it's a game. It's a game. It's a power game. They're not really power game. trying to make change for positive growth. They hate black people. Israel, they can't stand us. They can't. Just like Egyptians was, a, they're afraid of us. Really, they're scared, they're terrified. You know, that's why they got us in the prisons. That's why they got us killing our baby in the womb, committing abortions, and all this stuff. So, but like you said, man, you're right about it, bro. The flip, the the the, the it's being flipped. The script is flipped now. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't be no America if it wasn't for black people. We built this country. Yep. So, so just, despite what everybody else has heard, despite what everybody else has heard, man, they got all kind of lies going around. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, we're gonna, man, keep, what, it, we're gonna keep it funky, man. We're gonna keep it going, I, bro. I, I, was like, I was like, man, you got my, you got, you got black people, you got the black people believing that shit. You feel me? I'm like, what the fuck? Man, I had a nigga tell me a Muslim dude, right? This nigga crazy as hell. I love my <laughs> brothers. All my brothers, man, black Muslims, they got a, they got, um, they got some things twisted because Muslim is not a nation. Muslim is a religion. It's I know, a that's what rules. I told them. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. You feel me? That's what I told them. And that's that. And look, there was a thing on the internet where it was a Moor and there was somebody from a nation of Islam. And then the Moor, he was like, okay, man, what nation are you from? And then the, the dude from the nation, I was like, I don't know what nation means. He's like, man, you playing with me, man. Yeah. You know what the fuck I'm, you feel me? So I was that's like, what, ooh. That's what, that's what the brother was telling me in jail, right? This Negro, man, he told me this. I told him, yeah, man, I'm an Israelite. He said, you ain't no Israelite. You can't prove that. He said, nigga, you an American. I said, an American? What? This ain't my nation. Americans don't even want me to be over here, they, unless I'm in chains. I said, this is not my nation, bro. He's like, you got a social security number? I said, yeah, and that means you're a slave to this country. And I know what he was alluding to. I know what yeah. he's saying, right? As far as the American corporation is concerned. But I'm telling him, like, in my spirit and in, in my blood and my actual heritage, nigga, I'm an Israelite. You can't prove that. I said, look at, so you trying to tell me that because I have a social security number, that that makes me American. He said, yeah, and you were slave. And this is right after we saw George Floyd get murdered by the police, right? Mm-hmm. I told this Negro, I said, man, you caught me one more slave again? I'm going to bust you in your mouth, bro. I'm not playing with you at all. Call me a slave one more time, nigga. And we, it's going up, right? Yeah. So he like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I said, you know what? I said, now I'm, I'm getting hot. And you know you know RJ, the homie RJ, right? Yeah. RJ in there. So it's me. <laughs> we at the black table right in front of the TV. It's this brother. It's, it's I'm standing up next to him. He... And then RJ sitting down at the table, and then it's another nigga from Strata, a young brother from Strata Block, and then it's Marcelli, who was a pimp named Goldie. That nigga's mm-hmm. a stupid. I shouldn't even say his name on him, but the boy crazy. Anyway, so I told him, I said, bro, I got a, I got a, a jail ID number too, and a, and a, and a JID number. I got a JID number and a booking number, but I, I don't pledge allegiance to a Fresno County Jail. So what is happening? A social security number down that so I got to pledge allegiance to this country because I got a social. I said, man, you got your mind, bro. You you tripping, my man. You tripping. I said, I'm an Israelite, bro, from the tribe of Judah. Period. Right. And so, um, uh, but that's the type of thing that that you know. I, I was like, man, you, y'all Negroes is just, y'all missing so much because you 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 don't know who you are. You don't know where you come from. You don't know because you don't have nothing to, to really prove it. But I got biblical prophecy from Abba Yah, Jah, Most High. You know what I'm saying? That's showing me that we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. So, um, I wrote a rap. Oh, go ahead. It's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy when um, Christopher Columbus, when he go out, and he sells America and shit, and he calls this America, and then they claim it as Brit- Britain, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so scratch that, because it never happened like that. So now, it's 
was African, uh, 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 African, Africans who yeah. sailed and then discovered and shit. You feel me? So now, I now, now this place comes to find out, really. I see what, what I'm saying. Yeah, Africa. Right, exactly. The Africans came over here first and claimed it before Christopher Columbus ever stepped foot over here. Gonna try to change the name to America? No, it was people already here that came from Africa. No, I met some. I met some. <laughs> this is just what the fuck? Wait a minute. Right. You feel me? So, oh, oh, so I get it. So now, since you guys are in control now, so you got you guys can start renaming things and. Yeah. But, oh, 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 okay. Changing the calendars and y'all. Oh, oh man, okay. Don't get me started. Yeah, here we go. We gonna do. We, we, gonna, we gonna start. We gonna start having some. I'm gonna start. What we gonna do, bro? Is I'm gonna start writing down some of these really important topics that we can focus on. We can start yeah, yeah, conversations man, for an hour long. For an hour long type yeah, we, shit. You feel me? Like yeah, we can do an hour, man. two hour less. We can do two hours because the the average person, um, well, the average people who are doing these type of videos who are like, really educating the people, they going for like I've seen niggas go four hours straight. We're not gonna do that. We can do something. We can do about an hour thirty minutes, hour forty five. Hour thirty, yeah, yeah. I would say about an hour yeah, forty five yeah. minutes. You know what I'm saying? Cool. And then, but hour five, yeah, you feel me? Yeah, it's somewhere between there and shit. You feel me? Yeah, because that that makes a person have to really. You had to be a really studier to really watch that whole video. If you just one of these people that's just looking for entertainment for five ten minutes and then moving, this ain't the, this ain't the pod for you. This ain't the, this ain't the pod for you. That's how we'll say. It. <laughs> yeah, this ain't the pod for you. Yeah, dude, you get rolled up out this pod. Fuck with us, nigga, over here. Oh man, look at you! Just got blocked. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. That's man. You get DP messing around with us in the pot, man. Nah, I'm just playing. It's crazy because I, I never got DP the whole time I was down. No, you what? Did it? Nah, heck no. The way I, mm -hmm. I showed me how to move, man. I'm like, man, I'm not. First of all, respect is everything. I don't my, disrespect my last, nobody. My last one, I got DP. Yeah. Oh yeah, I heard yeah. about yours. You ain't gotta talk yeah. about it, but I heard about it. <laughs> but that was some nonsense anyway. Yeah, I mean, I, I was like, man, it's some bitch ass shit, but it's, it's good though. Yeah, but not, nah, but that even taking it, even taking a DP sometimes is best rather than trying to buck it. Cause I had a youngster, man, he got lucky because he only reason why I'm, I'm not trying to brag or nothing, but like, man, the way I was moving in prison and in jail, bro, was it was a, a a real cool, smooth way to where people didn't mess with me. They didn't want to mess with me. First of yeah. all, I'm already look, I look strong. And then when I start talking, you hear that I'm not talking about no nonsense and I'm actually helping you understand stuff. So now you appreciate my presence. You know, and you don't want to, you don't want to cause nothing to, to, to yeah. cause a rift between us. Cause I'm always helping people too. Like, Hey, you need this, you need that. And I'm a black. So if riot pop off, you're going to need me. You know what I'm saying? You want me to look over like, man, that nigga said this about me, man. I let that nigga get stumped up. You know? So this, I, I was able to use that and manipulate my way for to, to create peace and to actually make friendships. But one of my bunkies, yeah, he, he looked just like Chris Brown, and he's he got major vocals too. But he um he was in there with you me. Said, and, uh, you something said happened with some vocals. cards, right? Huh? Yeah. You said so he, had he had a deck vocals. of cards. Huh? You, you said he had vocals. Oh, bro! As soon as he get out, we doing music together. I told him, I said, bro, just come with me. I need you to, we gonna, we gonna, I'm gonna set up a studio and all that. And I told him I even got access to my cousin's studio. He gonna have to pay for the time. But if he, if he come out with money to pay, they'll let him use the studio. So, um, but I was telling him, I mean, he was, he was about to get DP because he had took a deck of cards from the COs. The COs gave it to him. He was like, oh, cool, man. So he had it at the bump and some of the blacks knew he had it. So some of the day was like, hey, man, let me use the cards. Like, here you go. You know, he wasn't trying to, trying to hold them to the side. These is mine. Right? He was giving them away and everything. But a couple, uh, but the rep didn't know that he had them. So the rep found out that the Pisces had got some cards. So he pressed the, the CO, like, on some dumb stuff. Like, hey, man, how come the Pisces got cards? You ain't give the Blacks no cards, man. That's messed up. Woo -woo. And the CO, like, bro, first of all, don't call me like that. I gave the Blacks some, some cards already. He's like, we ain't got them. So he argued with the CL. Then the CL like, bro, you ain't getting no cards. So I already gave them out. So wherever they are, you gotta find them. So now he pressing the um the uh the Pisces mm -hmm. and stuff and the, the Mexicans like, man, who y'all got? Where y'all get cards and da, 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 whatever. So now it's like this tension in the pot. And then um it comes out that my bunkie had a set of cards, but some of the Negroes didn't know. So they was like, did you know we had them? And they was like, no, I didn't know. I, I don't know. I guess he's talking about they his. What they his. 
So, but then there's other people who did know he had them and that he had let them use them, right? Whatever. He was just holding them because he was a um a porter, so they gave them to him. Yeah. So, long story short, they call a meeting over this the of on the of, over cards, nigga. We talking about a deck of cards, nigga. They talking in the meeting like, yeah, man, we gonna that's a deep, you gonna get DP and whoop whoop. And the youngster like he like 23 years old, swole too, cut up. He like, man, look, first of all, I'm not in the wrong. Negroes knew I had the cards. I gave them out to people. They used them, brought them back to me, whatever. These ain't my cards. He said, I don't even play cards. But you know how niggas is. They, they just bloodthirsty. They want to fight. They want to see if somebody get beat up. So they yeah, yeah. They're like, well, your name been coming up in, 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 in you know, in, in too many you times. Know, yeah. yeah, yeah, which it really wasn't. They was trying to fabricate stuff because I've been the dude Bunky. So I'm seeing how he moved. The dude is hella to himself, private. Sing, he writes songs, bro. He don't even be messing with people like that. Now he is prideful, but he needs. He's young. He's only twenty three, you know. So he's just like your son, bro. Like, so they, they stiff neck right now, but they are gonna grow out of that as they grow up. But anyway, the nigga got six kids too already. So he a dad, you know. what I'm saying he ain't, this ain't no like dumb ass little kid, and he don't gangbang. He ain't non affiliate. <laughs> so they just picking on him basically is what's going on. But he told him like, dude, I ain't taking no DP, bro. Like that's out. Cause I'm not in the wrong. So he said, I'll fade up. Anybody want to fade? I'm not turning down no fades, but nigga, you're not going to DP me. And so they, now that make the niggas matter. Oh, you're going to take a DP cause you ain't a butter car. Ain't nobody a butter car. Right. And and then he going to name drop me. me. He going to say, well, well, I was talking to my brother Judah earlier. Right. And when he brought my name up, everybody like, like it diffused a lot of the, of the, of the nonsense. Cause they know if yeah. I'm talking to him, I'm already putting him on track. You see what I'm saying? So they like, well, and then all of a sudden the conversation changed, you know what I'm saying? And then like, you know, it's funny because, but they still was trying to, they, they still doing their dumb shit. Well, next time this is what's gonna happen. This is what we gonna lay down some rules right now. If you do anything, it ain't no warnings. You just getting DB from now on. Ain't no questions asked, done. This niggas gonna get socked on face shots, body shots, everything, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm like, these niggas is dumb. They just wanna fight. They just wanna see somebody get beat up. You know what I'm saying? How you gonna not? You, that's the same thing that, that we talk about the, the the court system not giving us a fair trial. They doing us dirty. You gonna turn around and do the same thing to your brother? Oh, we ain't gonna give him no fair trial, man. It don't matter what you say. How, off top, it ain't no warnings. You just getting beat up. That's true. Yeah, man. That they. That's exactly how they are, man. You already know how it go. That's why yeah, I was like, but sometimes it, it is better just to take the DP because you don't want to, you know. Cause then I, I take the DP, but then didn't even nothing happen in the DP except nigga I was <laughs> swinging on niggas. Yeah, you might win the DP too. That's the funny part about it. I I didn't lose it, nigga. There was three. Yeah. I didn't go down. <laughs> exactly. Now they like, damn, this nigga strong. He could take a punch. Yeah, bro, I could take yeah. a couple yeah, punches. Yeah, I was too. like, nigga, nigga, they tried to trap me up in there, nigga. I walked in there first, nigga. So now, nigga, I had every there was nobody behind me, nigga. I was like, make sure that I made sure there was nobody behind yeah. me. Off top, yeah. yeah. I started going before they said go. Yeah. I started going before they said go. <laughs> nigga, fuck that. Nigga, right, nigga, it's all tough. We in the cell, boy. Nigga, that 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 nigga, nigga, you just took off on what's his name. Nigga, yeah. I didn't even know who I swung on at first. Nigga, I swung on June. Nigga, I swung on, um, yeah. I swung on, Ed, then uh, who was the other one? Larry? Uh, nigga, Fuck that, so, man. I'm tough, man. It's funny stuff, bro. I be having, man. That's why I said I had to learn how to move, bro. And see, I'm so humble. I'm a real, extremely meek person and extremely humble, yeah. bro. And I'm trying to learn how to master my powers so that I'm not overwhelming or overbearing to, to people because I can tell how that can be. You know what I'm saying? I see that. And, and um, um, but when it comes to it, bro, like my enemies, I can hear them like a nigga politicking on me, right? I don't have no problem walking to the politics and be like, hey, bro, I'm sorry about whatever happened, man. Here's a soup. You know what I'm saying? If you need something, holler at me. And now they don't know what to do because they're sitting there trying to find a reason to talk mess, but they can't because the nigga just came through in the middle of them talking and, and, and gave them something and helped them. And even I started doing that beforehand. I just do that with everybody so that y'all won't be quick to politic against me because I'm helping you all the time. That's how I, yeah. that's how I was able to move in there. Just be everybody. Not I'm not your friend. Like I'm not gonna just be like blind and just be all oh, buddy, you my friend. Like but on some respect, on some man to man. If you a real man, you gonna, huh? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You feel me? That's exactly how you move. 
I said, if you a real man, you're going to mess with me because I'm not going to come at you with no little childish, petty stuff, bro. I'm going to help you like a man should help his brother. Yep. Period. And you can't come to me talking about, oh, man, I don't mess with Judah because... Respect, man, and depend, that's what it is. Respect, man. If you got that, man, you you going you gonna to have a motherfucker a release date. You feel me? If you yeah. ain't got no if you ain't got no respect in prison, man, guess what? You ain't got no release date. I don't even damn if they gave you a release date. You ain't got no release date. Plain and simple. That's just how it is. You feel That's me? That's real shit, man. For real. Man, shit, man. If you a loose cannon, nigga, guess what? Nigga, they, man, they got places for niggas like them. You feel me? Yeah, this man. is what they don't understand. You feel me? I was like, man, they got places for me. I was like, like, I was like man, oh, like, oh, okay. Like the grave. <laughs> Yeah, you feel me? I mean, back in the day, yeah, you would have heard me roar, roar, nigga, we're sorry, man. Yeah. You would have seen, seen that back up back in the day, but now, right now, right now, this right. day and age, man, get this right here, man. Hey, man. I'm so silent. Yeah. Silent. Yeah. Silent. Yeah, that's silent. what's silent Silent Hill, Silent Hill around these motherfuckers and shit. You feel me? So it's like, man, and then, man, and then when it's time to roar, man, they know about it. They know the lions roar. You feel me? Yeah. They know it. You feel me? So therefore, man, you don't. But you ain't supposed to always break that lions roar out, though. You feel no. that's the, that, lions that's don't even roar all day every day. Hell no, man. Them motherfuckers, man. They be laid only, up. Yeah, they do. Only female lions. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. That's genius. It's perfect. It makes perfect sense, bro. The lioness is always on the roar. The, the, the lion is, is in the, yeah. Man, he's like, man, I'm getting up out of here. I'm going to walk in and yeah. go, go, go. He said, I'm going to go play with the gazelles, man. Yeah. <laughs> he, gonna go, he ain't even going to go eat them. He ain't going to play with them. He ain't going to go play with them. Yeah, he hopping around. <laughs> Get the lion parking around with the gazelles. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? He's like, Oh, wow. Man, hey, man, hey, man. I, man, I, I mastered the animal planet, bro. Put it this way. I've mastered the animal planet. You feel me, man? And this, yeah. that, and that was that was amazing. I mean, I'm telling you, I had to look back. I was like, man, why did these two act so like? Hmm. Right. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. Is this? <laughs> I'm seeing a connection here that is yeah, uncanny. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah. And I'm like, Oh, this, yeah. is, this is getting crazy. <laughs> it's true. They 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 they, they want to be treated like princesses, but they want to act like dogs. You know what I mean? I mean that is a that is an understatement, man. That, they, they, you cannot make that statement, man. The, the, to the most loyalist one on the planet, you feel me? You see you what know. I'm saying? Yeah. I'm telling you, I see it, man. I mean, 100%. you got you got to give you got to give them that slithering garden garden snake out there, bro. They get the the slithering garden snake that's yeah. like out there in the backyard. Slithering garden snake. Hide, hide, yeah, hiding, hiding, hiding behind, uh, hiding uh, 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 in the tall grass. Mm, 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 mm. In tall grass, you feel me? We can't see it. Yeah, cold game. <laughs> I'm so glad that I'm out, bro. I'm glad that we can kick it. I know, talk man, I'm doing, like, without without I'm somebody saying you have 30 seconds. I know that's it, that, that, that shit, man. That shit bullshit. You feel me, man? And then, man, and then all of a sudden, man, nigga, nigga, when, when you went back, bro, nigga, right when you went back, and nigga, that's the, that's when I got hit the I think the first time, nigga. I was like, nigga, man, it, they didn't take nothing. You feel me? But they was just like, nigga, you got uh, my manager came and said you got to move and this and that, this and that. My girl was. Just, my girl was, she was getting at me crazy. She was like, man, you do what you did. I was like, man, don't even make trip. I'm gonna make it better. I was like, don't even trip, I'm gonna make it better. And shit, you feel me? Don't even trip. I was like, don't even trip. Yeah. So, <laughs> my man pots and pants. Boy, and hey, look at y'all now. Way better off. Come on, man. You got a yard, you got another business going, bigger house, garage. Nigga, come on. In the country, out the way. Ain't no magic officers out there where you at. Ain't you know no, uh, I said, ain't no magic officers out there where you at. Come on, man. No. I can't wait to come kick it. Uh, oh, man. how was the snow? Oh, man, the snow was cool. You feel me? It was cool, man. It was too cold to go fishing, man. I was about to go fishing. Oh, yeah. I was about to go fishing, but it was too damn cold and shit, man. So I was like, man, man I'm going to keep my black ass in my uh, cabin where it's warm. 
80 degree plus, man. That's 80 nice, degree though. Plus. Yeah, yeah, in the snow. So, um, I don't know, man. I'm <clears> probably <throat> going to go. I'm probably going to be going fishing another day, man. But it, it I'm trying I don't to go with uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, we can, we can. But look, I can go. We can go with my connect. You feel me? My connect tell me all day, all day. He's like, man, all you gotta do is let me know two days ahead of time. And what's yeah. up, man? We going out there. We going out there. We gonna go catch that monster. So he got a like a hundred fifty thousand dollar boat, bro. You feel me? What? So niggas, nigga, I'm not playing with these niggas. Oh wow. Oh yeah. These niggas. Yeah, yeah man, man, let, let me know, bro. I'm with y'all, man. We bro, gotta go. We got yeah. to go. We gotta go fishing, bro. My yeah. mama was like, man, shit, can I go? And I was like, man, gee, what's up, man? Can my mama go? He was like, I don't care. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, it's a family affair then. Yeah, yeah, man, he ain't, he ain't man, but no, he don't, he don't, he don't be taking his family. He just go by himself and probably one, one of his partners. But, no, man, I'm just saying, no, but, day, but, oh, yeah. but, but, but on, on that day, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, but we all good out there. I think his boat, man, would just catch hella fish and then bring it back home. That's cool. That's all I eat is fishing, and, fish and vegetables mm -hmm. and drink water. Hey, man, I was going to. I know oh, man, I, I am not going to lie, man. I'm not going to lie, man. I've been eating, man, if you go into my freeze, my deep freezer right now, I got prime cuts. I'm talking about T-bone steaks, and I got, man, no, I have no porks, no porks, man. I got, like, right. uh, actual, I got actual prime cuts. You feel oh, me? Right. Like, man, you, you shit, man. I'm oh, talking listen, about, man, man. For, for, for each one of those cases, it was, I got, like, two, three cases in there. For each one of them, it was, like, $200 each. Bam, 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 you feel me? But Bam, threw them motherfuckers in there and shit, nigga. I still got a big ass turkey in that motherfucker still, you feel me? Oh, and um uh, man, I'm, man, hell yeah, man. Cause man, I, I remember, bro, that's the way I can see if everything is progressing, bro. Because I remember we used to always have to go out to eat because man, there was nothing in the refrigerator and, and all kind of shit. You feel me, man? It was, right. it was bad. You feel me, man? Shit, yeah. struggling, man, just two hundred dollars food stamps and shit, you feel me? And then there, but now you feel me, I, I went out there and did my thing, bro. For sure. There, so, there, so therefore, man, I'm like, man, hey, man, he's blessing me in a major way. You feel me? In a major and way. Like, yeah, because I'm like, man, okay. Yeah, because I'm like, look. Mm -hmm. Look. Yeah. All the time. You see what I'm saying? Just like. Mm -hmm. All that, all that mess she was talking. Heart. All that stuff she was talking. Holla. I, I know. Like, it's done. Oh, it's yeah. Done. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. PGM. PG&E get paid every month. Man, uh, uh, utilities get paid every month. You, you, uh, yeah. uh, uh, you, uh, 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 internet get paid every month. Phone bills get paid every month. Uh, mm -hmm. Loans been to pay off that that loan when I went to jail. That shit get paid every month, and every, everything get paid every month. Yeah, that's how. That's that's and, all. And then then, all then, then 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 it's all extras. Then then, then it's hella extra. I was just looking inside the closet, like man, you know what? I'm gonna go do when my girl get home. I'm gonna go shopping. I'm gonna buy me a few, a uh, few uh, uh, shirts and shit. You feel me? I'm just gonna build up. Look, I, I, I haven't what even worn nothing. I got new shit up in there. I haven't even worn yet. You feel me? Just like man, I'm just stacking this shit up, bro. You feel me? Thank you. That's dope. That's yeah, just man. Like that's blessings, yeah, man. man. So I'm saying, I like to hear that, bro. That's the type of stuff I like to hear. Yeah, Actually, yeah, I wanted to ask you this, but I know you're gonna have to talk to your girl. But I do need somewhere to stay for a couple of days, bro. I'm like, I'm about to. My brother about to be oh, out of town man. on Friday. On Friday, oh man, oh man, I have to get you a room, bro. I have to get you a room. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. It's all good. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to my mom oh, yeah. about that then, cause. Yeah, no, I got you. Yeah, nah, cause I'm uh, my brother gonna be gone for a week, and um, I'm like, I just have to, you know, I, it's closed mouths don't get fed, so it'd be dumb for yeah, me yeah. to ask. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I can, I can, I can, I can get you a spot though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit! If you can help out with that, that's even that's cool too. That's actually better for me because I, I actually want to be by myself. Yeah, you don't you want the room? Huh? You you stay for the for the couple of days while your while your, while your brother go, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 I can get you the room. Okay, for sure. Let me um, yeah, I'm gonna definitely get. You, I'm about to look up something right now, something cheap. Where, okay. Because yeah. Uh, I don't even know how much stuff go for as far as rooms. Go, so you probably know more about that yeah. than me. Oh, yeah, bam. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just the rest of it, just later. Yeah, yeah. Just we'll keep it going. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you too. Oh, you, I'll look at you. <laughs> hey, what's um, what's the best, what's the best uh, hotel or motel to uh, book? Which one you be booking? Uh, shit, man. Shit, uh, me, um, uh... When do you when do you need it, by? 
uh, I need it for, um, on, I believe it's Friday. He's leaving on the 18th. Okay, that's the day after tomorrow. Hold on, let me make sure. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 18th is the day after tomorrow. All right, so he's leaving on Sunday, which is the 20th. Oh, that's better. That's even better, bro. Yeah. Hey, she's gonna be lower. She's gonna be low. So I must I'm just gonna type in like a motel six. Hell so, no, you better not, man. Let me do it, bro. Man, you tripping, bro. I don't know, bro. I, I don't need my, man coming out of prison, bro. I'm not stressing on hey, 19. You tripping, man. Don't go down to motel six, man. That's the first one they they're gonna hit, bro. Oh, you're talking about just the, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and, then we're not, and then we're not gonna even put it in your name. We're gonna put it in my name, bro. So then you don't, they don't have to worry about when people, boat police running up on your room and shit. You can be looking for do somebody I have to, on parole. Do I have to have an ID? Yes. When I went you got, to. You got an ID? I have an ID, yeah. Okay. Yeah, if, it's, if it's in your I'm name, gonna... if it's in your name. Yeah, it's gonna be in my name. Oh, but and you're gonna then... put me, that's the person that's gonna be staying there, though. Yeah, you feel me? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Type shit, so then they won't go and hit your room, bro. You don't want them to hit your room. Yeah, yeah, heck no. That's that's what they do, man. Especially at the motel sixes. Oh yeah, no, that's cool. I'm gonna do. Let's see here. This one right here, close. These motherfuckers are expensive as shit. What? How much is it? It's holiday, I'm looking at the Holiday Inn. That's oh, yeah, a holiday. holiday. Holiday Inn's right. better. Is that better? Hell no, that's too, man, man hell no. Here, let me watch it. I'll, I'll, watch, I'll get one. All right, so, I don't know. I can have you pay for a couple of days, and I'll, I'll double back and have my mom pay for a couple of days, too, on another one. How long, how long, how long, how long your post office be going? He's going to be going for a week, from Sunday to Sunday. Okay. So that's the twentieth, December twentieth, all the way to December twenty seventh, and he'll be back. So, and I'm gonna be working. I'm gonna be. I start work on Monday, so I'll be oh, working. working already. Yeah, I got a job starting Monday. I'm doing construction work. Doing. Uh, I don't know exactly what they're gonna have me doing. Whether it's demolition or finished work or paint or. Whatever, but I, I got a job. Oh, you already, you're already in the game here. Nigga, every time you get out of jail, nigga, you get a job. Nigga, that's crazy. Nigga, I can't never get a job. You hear me? 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 The fuck? Hello? 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 I don't understand why I don't understand why I did that.